Hi everyone, this is Lights Camera Initiative. Uh, I'm your illustrious Dungeon Master Mario, and this week we are going to get right into it because I know everyone at home is just quivering in antice... Say it. Patient. Uh, last week, uh, the group had managed to defeat Zipe, uh, the flayed one, and uh, had gone back for a rest, and despite some temptations from a strange forest woman, uh, the group managed to, uh, <laughs> what, it happened? Yeah, it did. Um, the group managed to, uh, successfully rest and, uh, refresh, and now we're ready for, um, the next floor up past these jade snake doors. Does anyone have anything they want to say to the people before we start? Not yet. No. Sorry. Okay. Did we yes. identify? This session, only in character. Alright. Uh, <laughs> have, have we already identified like, everything, every magical item that we've come across, or is this yes. just... Yeah. Uh, the mace was a plus one mace. Uh, unfortunately, it needs to be attached to a new pack. But you could have done that. Um, oh, Thornton, during the long rest, you could have fixed that. You also could have fixed the dagger with the broken handle. So, the, you guys now have a plus one dagger, in addition to the other plus one dagger you got. I think you found two plus one daggers down here. Um, um, and a plus one mace. The, the one that was all rusted was a special one, or it just had the bonus effect of this one? Yeah, but he fixed it. I think okay. he removed it and he replaced it with a new handle. Uh, and then there was the other plus one dagger you found that would look like a ritual dagger. It had like a, like a curved handle and uh... Can we make that axe not cursed? No. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Maybe if you carry it with you and you find a pool of shimmering water, you can throw it in, and then they'll ask you if you threw in a golden axe or a silver axe, and maybe you could do something with that. Maybe. But other than that, I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> well, if if we want, it's better than nothing. There could be like. I mean, you can get some pretty cool items out of. There could be a giant encampment of I don't know orcs or. Giants yeah, or these something. Knives have long and we just sneak in there and just drop the axe and like their cheek inside or some other. Yeah, it'll be like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they grab And then they we shoot crazy. him with an arrow from really far away. He goes ballistic and murders the entire clan. Genius! Seems, seems like a bad plan. It was tough to kill the guy. After. Actually, if you've ever played um, uh, Arcanum, there's a really cool thing you can do to rob every merchant in the game because if you drop items on the ground, will eventually go over and pick them up. <laughs> so there's a cursed dagger that does poison damage to you over time. So you walk up to the merchant, you put Drop the cursed on the uh, dagger on the ground. Most merchants will equip a weapon if it's better than what they have, and most merchants don't have magic weapons. So they equip the dagger. The poison kills them, you rob them blind. <laughs> and in Arcanum, they or carry their them. whole inventory on them. It's not oh. like some games where if you kill a merchant, you get a couple items, but their whole inventory is just somewhere else. No, no. If you murder a merchant, you get all of his money and all of the items in his shop. Yeah. yeah. So do they just have stupid traits for security? Well, that shit? No, they'll either um, they'll either have it on them if it's like an herb shop because it's not all heavy, they can't carry it, or if it's like a weapon shop, they'll have a key to a chest in like the back room, uh, and the back room chest has all their gold and uh, items makes sense. in it. Yeah, Arcane is a really cool game. Uh, <laughs> take you can get one, the, uh, one of the plus one daggers since I can actually use a dagger. And it's finesse. Yeah, it's so you can uh, use it as a melee weapon, considering you seem to have trouble. I got one thing. Huh? Fireball ball is dope. Fireball is dope. So, powerful. the group of you awaken. Uh, you are you are joined by the others. Um, Kark, as you were uh, up last due to your elven uh, hey. long enough ability to meditate. Um, once everyone else gets up, you head in through the door. Once you pass through, you come across a staircase. Well, actually, you, you take a right, it goes about 60 feet, and then it doubles, basically, like, it does like a, a, a needle head where it just immediately goes back the other way and to a staircase. A staircase leads up into the gloom. It seems as though you have found the entrance to another layer within the complex. Oh boy. 
However, as you get up, it um, it seems more uh, less. The stone looks less damaged. Just generally judging from the uh, from the area, it looks less. Uh, Does that mean it won't collapse on us anymore? Can I make a mason stool? Do you, do you want to make a masons? Yeah. Okay, give me uh, intelligence. Yeah, give me intelligence masonry tools. Right. So twenty two? Uh, yeah, you think you should probably be fine. Unless like barring extreme circumstance, you uh it sh cave ins should be much less likely. Right. Okay. The the stone. It looks as if this part was like towards the top of the temple, so when it sunk into the ground, it didn't sink that far. Mm -hmm. In fact, you might technically not be underground anymore, but you're not going to know until you get outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, if only we had the pass way spell that was on a weapon. Oh, pass one? Pass one. Uh, yeah, anyway. not explore the rest of this I mean, I have. I'm talking about this spell that's on the cursed axe. Mm. If any could you use it to make a hole in the wall? Yeah, yeah. yeah speed run. <laughs> if you want well, speed run. We have that thing, yeah. But we want the push away. Yeah. We have that thing pushed Does away. Does anyone in the bag. want this axe? Oh, yeah, it's that's already. Too. It's already in the fucking bag of holding in a box. It, it's no harm to you if you just touch it. Okay. Mm. You have to attune it. Uh, uh, still being safe. I don't like cursed shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do y'all do? Downstairs. Um. You said it's explicitly an arcana check to look for magical traps. No, it's an arcana check to disarm magical traps. Oh. Looking for traps is perception. Oh. Okay. In most situations, it's an investigation if, like, you're checking an object that might be trapped, but, like, looking around a room for traps is perception. Okay. If you're like, I think this statue might be trapped, that is, like, an investigation check. Okay. Um, that was, the stairway is the only way we have to So, gone, right? did you want to check the stairs for traps? Because that'll be a perception check. Yes. I okay. do not. Guidance. If we're going up. you guidance. Don't the stairs is the only way nope. we haven't gone, correct? Yes, the okay. stairs, you have covered every other part of the temple that you have seen. If there is another part of the temple... We haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. 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 Seven. <laughs> Seven. That oh, was two. two, plus four, plus one. Yeah. Okay. I don't have perception trained. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get a choice too. Okay. So, as you begin walking up the stairs, you get out of a. Um, actually, what's Emron's passive perception? 15. 18. As you get like 15 feet up the stairs, you hear something at the top of the stairs, like the sliding of stone. It's very quiet, but the perception, you manage to pick it up. Yeah. Run back down the stairs. <laughs> well, I'll be a mirror. Hold on, wait, there's something up there. Hmm. Hmm. Armand says there's something up there, and that is the only warning you get before you hear a sound like <laughs> burst of sneak. Because Emron warned you, you are all able to make this next saving throw with advantage. I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. Superheated steam uh, blast out of you. <gasps> nice! I feel like it's kind of a waste. <laughs> I rolled a 19 and a 20. Hey! Oh, dear. Okay, uh, who got above a 15? Oh, no, not, not okay. I guess 
Ten on both my rolls. Oh, no. Ten on my face. <coughs> What's that? Whatever. Whatever. So, 14. Oh, no, one. What about his aura? His oh, yeah, you get plus four from his aura. You all got plus he four from his aura. He made 20. Oh, so everyone made it? Okay. Uh, lucky I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> or protection. I don't remember your aura, man. It is amazing. Oh, All right, it's I'm protecting protection. people. All right, I'm protecting people. Yeah, as a paladin of the ancients, too, eventually he gets an aura that's just half damage from magic. Yeah, okay, that's next level. Mm-hmm. Eventually, at Do you have to pick 18, one? 18, at 17 for each. No, no. Oh, or a stack. Oh, okay, cool. He also gets an aura of fear immunity too. Eventually, he has three auras. Ouch. Which is kind of awesome because you just get passive. And at level buff. 17, those auras become 30 feet wide instead of uh, 10. I mean, it does Same. say that I'm probably not going to get the 20th level uh, feature. But... Well, until we play Mad Mage, there's nothing. There's no published adventure that goes to 20th level. Yeah. Uh, seven. Five, seven. Does it, uh, it stops okay. at 16? Uh, everyone takes. Um, so, everyone except for Thoradin and uh, Ashura take three damage. You two take one damage. Due to your five fire. resistance, yeah. yes. Cool. Yeah. I was about to ask about that. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah. So, two. And, uh, um, uh, down to 13 health on our barrier. So, well, after your rest, you've got restored back to 13. No, it's actually 14. That's oh, 14. Yeah. Oh, oh, so you're saying you're down to 13. Mm-hmm. Ah. Well, not all of us have a barrier. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I love that theory. As, yeah. now the thing is, the steam, once it passes by you, you don't hear the sound of stone moving anymore. So what do y'all do? Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to see if there was something that triggered it. Yeah, I want to make a perception check and look for whatever it set the sun. Well, it's... Okay. If, if we did something to trigger it. Uh, yeah, let me perception. Uh, 18. Okay. With your 18 card, you notice that there is, uh, like, a little bit on the stairs you guys just passed over, there is what looks like some magic runes that you guys scuffed. It was really hard uh, to see about. I'll point it out to the squares in case he's wondering. No magic. I'm sure you get it next time. The magic what makes this adventure interesting. Hey, magical traps. <laughs> I thought it was the treasure that made it interesting. That would be more true if I was a reader. And what the about shame. the monsters? The monsters are interesting too. Oh, they're very interesting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Those rare jaguars were the most interesting. Yeah, they were actually pretty interesting. More so than that. Somewhere Z Bay is just like, how dare they? Who? <laughs> I wish I Somewhere Z Bay is like, how dare they? I wish I could have gotten an, an animal head. I remember I said at the time, human head sins. So. It's not, it's not... It doesn't good. hold the weight, you know? No. Well, no, it sends an odd message. You got to do it. It's not, it's not the right crowd. I uh, I, yeah, I imagine so. Yeah, if you just walks into a town and like, look, I'm growing up with Jaguar's Bay and hold out a human head, you might come across <laughs> like you're a psycho. Plus, any skeptics in the audience, so it's an uphill battle. Yeah. You should get a bard. The, I do have more gold now. The bard might actually help you with your reputation. Hmm. I'll think about it. Huh. Uh, as you begin walking up the steps, I need everyone to roll me a dexterity acrobatics check. Uh, or acrobatics? Wait, yeah. No, a dexterity, dexterity acrobatics. Oh, okay. 18. Uh, one, two, 18. 18. 18. 18. Uh, 12. Super Dex 12. Roll. Or 16. 16. 21. 12. 12. 
Okay. As you start to walk up, you realize that the steam has actually made the stairs super slippery. Uh, but you all manage to get up there without falling. Uh, it's actually pretty lucky. You think if you fell, you might have fallen and like slid back over the rings. <laughs> Good uh, back. <laughs> So Once you get up to the top of the stairs, um, you see that at the top there is a what appears to be a um, about six foot tall stone dragon that's mouth is like misted in like steam condensation. Mm. You're pretty Here sure this is what you. Hmm. It does not respond, Betty. But if you want, I, it's a little picture of it. Yeah, so what? You photograph? Uh, it appears as if it came out of like um, like a trap part of the wall, and after like a couple seconds of you looking at it, it slides back in, mm. and the door like seals itself. Mm-hmm. There wasn't anything else in there aside from the, st- uh, the statue, dragon statue. <laughs> However, as you come out of that, you come into a corridor, and at the end of that corridor. Uh, yeah, you go. Uh, it, it also pin needles back the other way. You go down about forty feet, and then you hang a right about another forty feet. Once you're there, it comes to a um, two paths. There's a right that goes about twenty feet and stops at a door, and then there is a left that uh, goes into a chamber. And at the end of that corridor is a pile of golden coins heaped onto the floor. On top of the gold rests a skull missing its lower jaw. In the right eye socket, a black spider has made its home. Several bones are piled upon the coins, and the hilt of a broken sword thrusts up from the mass. There's no door to that. That's why you can see that. The other the other direction had a door. Mm-hmm. A bronze door like most of the other doors you've seen in here. So there's a spider in the eye socket, and there's a gem in the other one? Mm-hmm. Check for traps. We go in that direction? We go in we want to go that direction first? Yeah. Okay. Seems like an obvious nice. trap. Uh, those who's checking, check perception. There's a skull on top of the gold. That gets a gun. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? You guys. Hmm. 20. 20. Okay. 23. 8. Well, magic items. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's cool. Wait, can I detect magic and ritual cast? Yeah, if you want to start ritual casting uh, detect magic, yeah. totally do that. Okay, so as the group of you are approaching, who rolled above a 20? What if, does okay. 20 count? Yes. Okay. 20 or above. So, Squig, Emron, and Ashura notice that that gold isn't gold. It actually becomes a little translucent and see-through. You notice this because you smell an overwhelming smell of mold. It's really strong. And then because of that, like, your vision of the uh, gold warps. And then you see that the gold is an illusion. And in fact, there's just a pile of bones and yellow mold. Mm. Additionally... Is the spider real at least? Yes, but it's a normal spider. Oh. The spider, the skull, and the broken uh, sword hilt are the only thing that are real. Mm. What I have to detect magic? Just, oh, uh, just the well, he moment. was in the process of uh, you know, casting it, because it takes ten minutes. Unless you were going to wait in the hallway for him to do that, in which case he would have found out about the illusion from that. Uh. So, also, you guys notice uh, that in this room, Basically, as soon as you turn this direction from the, uh, the the crossroads, there is a secret door on your right. I and see. then further in at the end of the hall, past the mold, there's another secret door on the right. Oh, huh. Well, there's burning the mold. Two. Does it look similar to the one from um, the stone tube? The, does this mold look more similar to the mold from the stone tube? Uh, well, you, the two of you know, at the very least, that you can burn it with fire or sunlight. Mm. If fire you want to just shit. torch right. a firebolt. Huh. And once you do, the area is cleared out and you can reach the two secret doors. The question is, which, one? which do you all enter? 
Do you want the closer one or the farther one first? I think the farther one makes more sense. Alright. That's fine with me. That's what Brenna wants to do. Is there any objections? Uh, okay. You guys head up. I'm going to need a perception check to find the trigger release for the door. Okay. 25. 16. Fourteen. We got above fifteen. All right, you each find the you each find the trigger release. It's, it's pretty obvious, actually. You just kind of shove your head, uh, hand towards the, the bottom of it, um, and uh, yeah, uh, the door opens, takes an immediate left, and immediate left again, like kind of a pin, uh, and goes down about thirty feet before coming to a door. Beyond the sacred door, the passage bends around to the left. At the end of this narrow corridor hangs an ornate mirror, and a door is set in the eastern wall next to it. Now, I assume Greta was up front? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how big is the hallway? Greta, make me a wisdom saving throw. And it is a one by one, so you can be behind Greta. Uh, remember, plus four, because uh, he's right behind you. Can I not be Because your ally is sure is right behind you. Can I not be surprised by the mirror, thus rolling with advantage on this? No. <laughs> nice try, though. Nine. Okay. Grenna, you stand there in front of the door. Or you There's stand there in front of the... Okay, so to everyone else, Grenna is standing in front of the mirror, not moving, just staring at the mirror. To Grenna, as you walk up to it, out of the mirror jumps a man with a feathered headdress, huge and burly, holding a spear and a shield. He attacks while initiative. Uh, uh, I have a negative to wisdom. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got drugged a little backwards. Did you have the plus one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Is it serious? And tell me, wouldn't it be this? I didn't know that there was a negative involved. Slap yeah. Rinna. If the stat is below 10, it starts going to the negatives. All right. What'd you get? 22. You go first. Cool. I will aggress and hack. Seriously, so that's what's happening. Well, we don't know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, you just see Grandma stand here. Critical, but also turns. 27 to hit. 27 to hit, that hits. I'm going to take the first set of turns, but you guys can do something. Or 21 damage. Okay. You slam into the thing for 21 damage, uh, causing a great wound upon the warrior's left arm, uh, right above its shield. Yeah? I forgot plus two from the axe is 23 damage. Okay, sorry, 23 I damage. Have. You slash into it for 23 uh, damage, dealing a Vicious blow. Uh, you can, of course, attack again and have a third attack due to the fact that you crit. Are you rolling both attacks at the same time? No. I was living in a fantasy world where I, I got an advantage for some reason. But I'll treat them as two separate attacks. What the same speed? Uh, one of them, I got 26 to hit, and the other one, 24. Okay, those both hit. So roll uh, Second attack is 18 damage. Okay. And the third attack is 11, 13 damage. Okay. You have slashed into this warrior three times, bleeding him immensely. He does not go down. He then attacks, stabbing up with the spear. However you dodge it. So to everyone else, Grandma's just standing there in the hallway. Does he walk the hallway. the back of Grandma? Did he suddenly stop her? He's in front of her. Yeah, she did, but not suddenly enough for you guys He's to plow right into her. Yeah. Unless the sure is super oblivious. <laughs> but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, Ashura is super oblivious. But I don't think Ashura is. 
know. If you want to plow right into granite, it's up to you, man. Uh, well, if I rolled on paying attention or not, um, I don't know. It's it's difficult to say because Ren is right in front of Ashura, so I mean, maybe he's staring. Maybe he's thinking about something else. Ah, uh, son, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you slam directly into Granite. Granite does not move. Uh, it doesn't seem to respond at all. Granite. What uh, level of. Uh... Granite says nothing. She just stares at the mirror. Shove her. A cat. Roll off us. Is that wrong? I figure he would have. Uh, I'm gonna get shoved over. Now, it's your turn again. Sick. That'll be God. another round of attacks. You stand facing the warrior, mighty before you. Jeez. Both of which are critical. Somebody heard me when I was talking about how I haven't really done much. <laughs> yeah! Bro. They're there for me. They're cool. Damage on the first attack. And 17 damage on the second attack. And roll your, uh, your third attack. Or 19, but also it is not. Still gonna hit, I think. It is a 20 total. That is. On a completely unrelated question, what do you think is the most Grena like? Uh, Uh, out of stuff I have. Very Something I Reese's maybe? Loud. I'm not even for for loud. lack of a better answer, yeah. I was thinking maybe something maybe something. Something no, I mean Greta is notorious for having a chocolatey outside, the peanut butter eats. Well I mean uh, Well it's bad for you. I mean, you know, we've we've been on Reddit. We've been on Reddit. <laughs> Man, you don't be really weird. Yeah, but you have to stop anyway, besides the point, you swing the axe three times into the creature. It dies, shrieking. And as it does, uh, you open your eyes and you're on the ground, having been shoved over. Thornton, you sense you're getting a sense of magic from the mirror. Right. Open with the stick. See if it comes back. Hey, hey, she, she, she comes back. What? Just <laughs> gonna push myself. <laughs> Right. Unless otherwise obstructed, I'm gonna like kind of realize someone's like near me and like kind of side roll and then push up. Cars will attempt to throw right. with the stick, anyways. I'm okay, got a stick from somewhere. not sure. I was doing battle with the with a powerful warrior. I was debating about whether or not his mask would be substantial enough, and now I'm here. You, you, you just stopped moving and Kark told Asher to push you over. Cast a dark eye. Or push you out of the way. Well, I told him to push you. I didn't know you just fall over like a fall. Are you ball. guys going to give Thor in 10 minutes to which you cast a dark eye? Just kind of see the thing. I got a dark yeah. for sure. No. Oh, well, I'm sure. Okay. Did you mention the mirror's magic? While sure. you guys discuss, yeah. Thor muscles his way past and begins casting a spell seemingly on the mirror. At the end of your ritual cast, uh, this mirror, some sort of mirror that traps someone in a battle with an illusionary warrior. Mm -hmm. It appears as if the magic is gone, however. Right. Oh, that would be nice so if he's blessed out. Pull out the mirror. The first person who comes up to it triggers it. Mm. You wouldn't have been able to. We yeah. can't, we can't we, uh, uh, put no. cards on it. Yeah. It's like a one-use trap thing. It, in fact, it doesn't even do physical damage. It does psychic damage every time it hits. Oh. And uh, the only way to break out of it is to either make your will save, and every time someone messes with you, you get the will save again, or uh, eventually dealing damage equal to your own max health, which is why it took forever to kill. 
Well, effectively forever. You fucking crit it like 30 times, so yeah. it would have taken a while for someone to kill because Granite has 84 hit points, so that's oh. what this thing had. So you're at least nice. You mm. slaughter it. No, the mirror's kind of rusted and dirty now. Mm. Now that the magic is gone, it appears to be a normal mirror. How does the glass look? Uh, glassy? Sorry. Yeah, I'm be. going to approach it very agitated. Before and smack it. it with like the the rear, like the butt of of the axe, in an attempt to like break it. You break the mirror, and as you do so, you go. Granted, it's seven years bad luck. Yes. I have no idea what we're looking. I for. have been cheated, and I'm going to recoup my. Does it only take the HP score? Something, or does it take the AC score too? Okay. No, nope, just HP. Damn. Its AC score is. Can you imagine if it took the AC score too? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, Greta Greta would still have yeah, Greta did roll was... below me for twenty. <laughs> what if I was in friend? <laughs> that would have been long and obnoxious. Why won't you die? <laughs> then again, you probably would have made your wisdom save. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe. Huh. Most likely like... to work on Greta, funnily enough. And then I'm going to grab one of the pieces of, I'm going to take like a cloth or something and maybe grab one of the pieces of glass. Okay. And the problem is the laugh, I'm going to say, if you wish to avenge your mirror, Phantom Warrior, <laughs> you know how. Is there a damage the Uh, glass. no, the thing didn't hit. That's not good. Yep. Can you even get a scratch on it? It made an attack, but missed. Which is weird that it still has to make an attack roll, but whatever. Yeah, it's uh, like psychic damage. Or if it well, has, it works like a phantasmal force spell. Or, right? oh. or if it had like a thing where yeah. not only does it copy those things, where every time you hit it, it deals a portion of the damage back. That would have been cool too. Because it's a reflection of fucking things. Uh, when you look at the door, the door appears to be very heavy. And it has many glyphs carved upon it. In the center of the door is, a, is, is carved an eagle killing a serpent. Two stone warriors dressed in mourning cloths and wearing panther masks were sculpted into the door. No, nope. I destroy the statues. <laughs> Why? Oh, panther people. Oh. <laughs> because they've come to life before, and I'm not dealing with them. Okay, I should know. They're not like full statues. They're like carvings of part of the door. You can still destroy them if you want. And in fact, they're destroyed pretty easily. But they're not like huge statues. They're, a part they're like of part of the door's statues. design. Yeah. Then I That's why I got five. So that, that was the thing. So you, um, do you open the door? Are there rooms that are around it? So not a gas like that. Omen language? Or yes. Yeah, actually, like rooms. They appear. Uh, they appear to. They, they don't have words, but the glyphs appear to be like. Actually, you can roll history on it if you'd like. And you can roll with, uh, huh? 21. Oh, well, no, the glyphs on the door speak of a journey of two men in Jaguar's masks who were on a journey to find truth and light, but which ended in failure and imprisonment in the land of the dead. Well, it sounded cool until that last part. Mm-hmm. So, Rana said she was opening the door? Yeah. Okay. Beyond the door is a wide fo- uh, foyer, 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 whatever, uh, that leads into a circular room. On the south wall of this hall is a jade death mask affixed at chest height. Taking up the middle of the chamber is a cross shaped dais with sets of stairs leading up it along each of the four ends. In the center of the dais rises a cylindrical uh, structure that appears to be made of transparent walls of crystal, enclosing an oddly carved stone pillar. The stairs that face the room's entrance are carved with the heads of many gods. The steps on the north side are bloodstained, and atop the landing lands a statue of, or stands a statue of a warrior. The stairs to the east, across the room, are partly obscured by shadow. The southern staircase is being nested, appearing to change colors in the light. Tucked into each nook where the arms of the cross uh, come together is a low shelf on which are placed small offerings, silver bracelets, earrings, neck collars, anklets, piles of coral beads, and silver and jade statuettes. It's a fancy-ass room. For statue? Yes, uh, it is. I'm 
I'm tempted to take the things, but I'm also don't want to get cursed in case I just, I, I'm fucking looking over this room. Can I just, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can only look, do perception, but I'm if someone can looking over this room. Detect curse. I, I, I don't know. Detect magic and detect curse. I uh, can't detect curses, but I will detect it if it's magic. Uh, unless the curse says it doesn't work. 20, 22 on searching. Yeah, 22 as well. I also got 22. 19. 12. Okay, so sorry, what? 22 uh, times 3. 22, 19. 19. 19. 22. 22. 22. 22. 12. 12. Okay, so everyone but uh, these two over here determine that the mask uh, is like attached to um, the lever it hangs on is actually a pivot. And if removed, it'll trigger a trap of some kind. Oh, well, that's not good. Yep. What about the bracelet and stuff? Can we take that off? Additionally. Uh, those are offerings. I don't know. I piss off a guy. Yeah, yeah, the highest awesome. you got was 22? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just double check. I could look it over to see if I could disable it. Let's try. Okay. okay. If we want the mask. Yeah, we've come this far. Okay. Is the mask valuable? Yes. Oh, well, if you want, go ahead. And so, uh, additionally, your detect magic determines that there is an aura of evocation uh, emanating from the crystal cylinder. Hmm. Where is the cylinder at? The center <coughs> of the room, base. It's on like. Oh, the right side. Hmm. Um. What? Karth will take the shit, the offerings. He thinks it's a bad idea, but he'll do it anyways. Okay. As, well, actually kind of happens at the same time. As you touch one of the offerings, and as you uh, reach out with your tools. with your thieves' tools and begin touching the thing to disable it, um, the first thing you hear is uh, the doors that you opened seal themselves shut. I want that to and you hear thing. a voice in common. Oh. Interlopers, you have transpassed on my sacred channel. For this affront, retribution has already begun. For you are now breathing a toxic gas that will kill you shortly. It is possible your actions are not from malice or greed, but idle curiosity. Therefore, you will find the cure upon the stone in the middle of the dais, if you can solve the puzzle to reach it by the proper route. Mm -hmm. Choose your path wisely. And act quickly. Let's examine the dais then. Yeah, I mean. Well, does the room look different or is it still full of the break the normal poison gas? <coughs> it doesn't uh, have the poison gas in it. It doesn't look like there's any gas in the room. However, after like a couple seconds you start feeling weaker. Like your limbs start to feel like like your fingers start to feel a little tingly mm. and your arms uh, okay. So I've missed a fun enough experiment to know that's bad. The dais. Okay. Yeah. Which stair are you taking up the dais? Because there are four. The there's four. There's one that there's a warrior in front of, and then there were three others. One that's like uh, shadow. That's like one that yeah, one that's covered in shadow. One that has different colors on it, like prismatic. Yeah. And what's the last one? Because there's colors, warriors, and shadow. Can I implore him to reconsider with persuasion? Don't kill us. Oh, and there are, of course, the stairs that have uh, the god heads on them. So, is that an option or no? Is there? You can try to say something. <laughs> uh, the, uh, is there no uh, other depictions on this? Let's all take a different stair. You all, all want to take take different stairs? Because uh, there are stairs with shadows, stairs with colors, stairs with uh, the god heads, and a stair with the statue at the top. I assume time is of the essence, so I would think we should. Well, I was I was thinking out of character. Maybe what stair to take has to do with like the beginning thing from the room that talked about the jaguar warriors and the journey and whatever. They were trying to seek truth, but they ended up in the land of the dead. Maybe there's some symbology here. I don't know. Okay. In character, I'm, I'm still pissed about earlier. I don't care. Uh, I still say we each um, take a different. Stair. I also don't think we have much time to talk about it. Yeah, but if we take a different stair, 
one of those could be just going down a different path to bring value. There's yeah, six so of I us mean, and four doors. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Be careful. Uh, I, I think it's dumb, but I'm willing to do it. So, okay. Who wants to split up? Split up or not split up? Oh, I was going to try to talk to the guy. Okay, well, you can still do that. Oh, okay. Uh, assuming that fails, or doesn't, yes. assuming that fails, are you for splitting up or not splitting up? I guess splitting up. Splitting up. I assume you're for splitting up since you brought it up. If I can't make the perception check to see if I can find a clue, then I'm for not splitting up. Okay. Thor. Not splitting up. Not splitting up. With how fast is acting, I can tell that it's probably not a bluff. That it'd probably be a few minutes, maybe. Hard to say exactly. We gotta go fast. Okay. I hate it. It's splitting up. Brenna, shoot for splitting up or not splitting up. Uh, I said I was going to do it, even okay. though I was retaking the vote anyway. Yeah. It sounds dumb, but I'm willing to do it. Okay. I'm okay. character. It's absolutely bad. Idea. I'm running <laughs> only perception, weird. and tell me what you're going to say, and then roll persuasion. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, you can also look at all the over, over as well. Okay, well the more time you guys spend looking it over, the. Well, if um, we take different doors and look over each one, see if we can find something special. Seeing as you give us a chance to begin with, you seem like a reasonable person, and I can't help but think that there are a multitude of other ways that you could go about this. There is no response. Unfortunately. No. Uh, <laughs> it could have just been a, a message that was left in uh, the percep- Perceptions for people who rolled them? I got 15. You got a 15? 15. 14. 14? The doors appear to be locked with magic. So they don't even open? No. Break through the walls. Uh, oh, no. Wait, oh, the... The doors out? <coughs> yeah, the doors out. Oh, okay, but the steps are... We can still go up the steps, though. Yeah. No, no, that, that, that's... I was saying investigate the pillar. You have to get up to reach the pillar. It's on top of each of the stairs. Oh! Yeah, it's on oh, the center on the oh. dais, and there are stairs. And there are Sorry. four sets of stairs leading up to it, one of which has a okay. statue on it, one of which is covered in darkness, one of which has different multicolored stuff, and one of which uh, has, like, the heads on it. Uh, so... It sounds like you guys were splitting up. So yeah. the question is, how are you splitting up, and which one are you going to? Um, obviously, I, Godhead, Warrior, Charismatic Doors, Shadowy. It, if Verna two. is correct about it no, nearing wait. the journey, then either the stairs that we should take are the light-colored ones for the truth, or the shadowy ones for the enemy of the world underworld. I said that. Oh, okay, so no. you get to have that fuck yourself. Oh, never mind. I thought you said it in character. I'm just saying. Why don't you say it in character? It's in character. It's still kind of pissed in character. Kark was arguing in character that we should split up, though, because we don't have a lot of time. Okay, well. Uh, I just. just Alright, whatever. Anyway. So, I guess I'm just going to go around and ask which stair you want to go to, and we'll decide it that way. What stair does the show want to take? The, um. The light. The, couple, the multicolored light stairs? Okay. Yeah. Pretty How dark. Is it Shadow, then, if I see Shada? Come on. I'm staying with Grenna, so whichever one she takes. Uh, Thornton? Uh, go with Car. Squid. Oh boy. <laughs> His choice is There's the head right. or the uh, one with the statue at the top. Yeah. Oh, God. God, heads, I guess. And Grenna, you're going to go up the one I'll with the where? Okay, so as Ashura, you begin going up the stairs, but each step you take brings you no closer to the top. You get up three steps and go no higher. It's exactly like Super Mario 64. Yeah, I was going to say, good thing I know the speed run strat. I wonder if you have okay. jumps. Okay, as Thordin and uh, Kark run up the dark stairs, about halfway up something trips you, you fall to the bottom of the stairs, taking three damage each. Squid. 
sure I'll reach the top eventually. As you run up the stairs, all the heads begin going, and then you like fall to the ground, unable to move, feeling too weak to even move. Stay. As they continue to babble incoherently at you. As Emeron and Brenna run up the stairs with the statue, the statue comes to life. Its helmet begins shooting flame out of it, and it holds like a blade, a seemingly made of magic force before you. That's I need bad. you to roll initiative. And that's why I stayed with Brenna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, so I can't be surprised. Well, I yeah. thought the warrior was going to come alive anyway, but that's why I didn't roll. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Why did you have such a hard time deciding? Because you had that for the godhead. Yeah. I don't want to swim for the. Well, I guess the warrior path is the way to go. Uh, it's almost one out. It is the one he mentioned first, but I didn't want to know you. It's probably just the order in the book. I had a similar thing. Or sometimes people say stuff that has significance, but don't intentionally mean to do it. And if you're reading from the book. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the person sometimes, wrote it that Sometimes way. if you listen to the DM, you might actually get some clues about yeah. some stuff. Read the DM. Okay, so. The creature approaches, and uh, what did... Um, I'm going to have everyone roll initiative. <coughs> uh, so, sure, what'd you get? Levitates into the air uh, and flies down at Grena, swinging with its uh, blade. That's fine. It levitating into the air and swinging a flaming magic blade is like some dark soul shit. This. I forget. Did you take some shield charges into the ring? I took one. Uh, one attack is going to hit you. Because the first misses. I think I will. Okay. It deals, it slashes into your shoulder, and as it does, it deals 10 physical damage and 2 fire damage from the blade that burns into you. then flies 15 feet up into the air above you, allowing you to take an attack of opportunity. Okay, now it's not okay. Because he flew up. Yeah, it's fine if he's attacking me. It's not fine if he's like, you know, you're weak, you're stupid piece of shit. Getting real tired of this whole tactics thing. <laughs> I'm tired that people will just let me murder them by standing in front of me and doing nothing. I'm also tired of people being what I say. <laughs> Four, seven. Two that hits. Despite its heavy metal plate armor and shield, oh. much unlike most of the other things in here, I mean, they still look like omen in design, but as opposed to being hide and stuff, it are plates of heavy uh, black metal, actually. In fact, you can't see it, but if you could, you'd be able to tell something about it. So I don't know why I'm saying this. <laughs> Eleven damage. Okay, and your weapon is magical, correct? Yes. Are you sure it's not not magical? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, does its armor look super sick? Yes, it does. It's too bright card with my full plate. 
Additionally, the gaps in between its armor and helmet glow like a deep red light. It doesn't seem to have any flesh. It's just like a suit of armor with red light coming out. Ah. Of it. And I'm sorry, how much damage did you say you did? 11? Yeah. Okay. Now, it is Thornton and Karak's turn. You guys look up and you see a fight going up on the, their stairs. Can we get to their stairs? Uh, well, it takes half your movement to get up, which means Thornton can get 10 feet away from the stairs, but you can just barely get on the stairs. With your movement. Now, if you double move, you can get on the stairs. I don't do that. Okay. Uh, but you can get just onto it. While I'll get on. onto it and then I'll shoot at it. With And I'll cast Hunter's Mark on it as well. Okay, you get on, you cast Hunter's Mark. <clears throat> and then... As you get on to the stairs, uh, light, red light issues forth from it, and another one appears uh, on the ground. You? Okay. Oh my god, they're like fucking doll hands. Uh, I'll still attack the one David was attacking. Every time okay. something uh, comes in, another one. 24 to hit. Uh, and. Well, the, the deck of my name. 17 damage. Fight it all. Whenever somebody wants to help you. Can you while people taking their turn? Uh, I'm sorry, how much? 17 damage. damage. 17, 17 damage? Yeah, I'm sorry, what'd you get to uh, attack? 24. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, your arrow strikes into a piercing through uh, one of its center chest plates, wounding it. Uh, 22 to hit. Like it's literally your business. Alright. Uh, 22 hits. Yeah. Um, 9 damage. Somehow I rolled 1 damage. Okay. Um, yeah, two arrows strike into it, uh, wounding it. Wait, are these within 5 feet of each other? No. This uh, one's 15 feet. Oh, yeah, Technically, right. this I'll, one's I'll, above I'll ground at 15 feet into the air. I just didn't move it. Okay, mm. I got you. Um, and it is now. Fun face burn. It's Squig's turn, but you can't move. Nope. Uh, uh, in any fashion. You can't move or take any action. You are completely uh, unable to do anything. Rest. Yeah, basically. Well, no, it's just you can't do anything. Oh. Uh, at least that's how you feel. Um, and it is now uh, Ashura's turn. You're running up the stairs, unwittingly doing the running man. Uh, some mom from the 70s thinks you're a real groovy. But... You do see a fight going on on the other stairs. You can reach the stairs. Oh, and sorry, you got one here too. Now, Thornton, when you ran on the stairs, mm-hmm. it doesn't create another one. I go to the stairs I... so I can fight. Okay, it's gonna take your full movement. So you won't be able to do anything else. Because you are on the far side of it, unfortunately. Uh, so is here okay? Anything? No, unfortunately. Unless you have a bonus action, you could cast. Um, a bonus action spell if you have one. You said Gordon would notice something if he saw them? Oh, yes. The metal appears to be adamantium. <sighs> nice. Yep. Does adamantium normally appear black? Yes, oh, adamantium's okay. black. Okay. Huh. Um, I don't remember if Dragon Tear is a... Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I think the only bonus action things you have are if you want to put up a shield of faith on yourself. And I think that's it. <laughs> that's actually it. Yeah. Alright. Paladins don't really get bonus action stuff. Uh, a whole lot. Anyway, that is Shura's action. It is now Greta's action. Then it will be Amon's. I will angrily magic missile the one above me. There is one on the ground over here, if that changes your action. That's the one I want. Okay, well. <laughs> just, you know, same. This time. That's the one that insults me. Plus, out of character, but the other one's like an illusion too, or something. <laughs> okay. You cast magic missile. Yeah. Okay. It does nothing. Mm. Can we tell what? if it casts a shield? What happens? It strikes into the plate and diffuses off. Thorin, would you like to roll me an Arcana check? Sure. Oh, don't you have shield or something? I wonder at 16. With your okay, your master told you about these. This is a helmed horror. A helmed horror is a golem made of dark magic. 
It's a spirit bound to animated armor. They're given a magical purpose, usually to protect something. They're usually made by wizards as like top of the line defenders and guards and jailers. Uh, they are, unlike a lot of constructs, they are genius tacticians. Uh, using the environment to their advantage, their ability to fly, and any like, they, they'll specifically target spellcasters. So if some of you start casting spells, they'll probably go after you. Oh, um, already cast they're capable of determining who's like the weakest and attacking them first, um, or who's most vulnerable to their attacks, I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. Basically, you think they can calculate AC, you're pretty sure. Um, additionally, when not only are Helmed Horrors resistant to magic, when they are created, their creator picks three spells. The Helmed Horror is immune to each of those. You're pretty sure that one of the spells it is immune to is magic <laughs> These creatures are very deadly. Additionally, unlike normal helm tours, these seem to have flaming swords. They normally don't. I'll say, well, I'll say in character that uh, she needs to act if she wants to, uh, or yell, since I'm not going to say it. Okay. Um, you know, in that they're resistant to certain spells, and one probably is a magic missile. Is that your turn? I would like to shout, I would like to know that before, and if possible. Actually, never mind. Sorry. You know that all Helm's Horrors are immune to magic missiles, and that's probably not a spell it is explicitly immune to. Additionally, magic, uh, uh, Helm Horrors are immune to force, necrotic, and poison damage. Force. So it's immune to magic missile just in a different way. Sorry, I, I misread part of its stat block. That was my bad. I'll say that one. So yeah, Magic Missile or any other spell that deals force damage, any spell that deals necrotic damage or poison damage, it is completely immune to. Additionally, they're resistant to non-magical weapons, but like there's three random spells that they're immune to. Yeah, they are uh, immune to three random spells. You know, Fireball's a common one. No. The spell, it wasn't an attack, do I still have attacks? Left. No, but you can action surge if you want to get two more attacks that way. But uh, but no, using That's your ring to cast it. magic missile, um, using your ring to cast magic missile to take up your action, and to having multiple attacks doesn't mean you can take an action and still attack. It just means when you take the attack action, you can take multiple attacks. Yes, yeah, that was done. So right. Well, uh, sorry, I was just clarifying. Um, no. Okay. I mean, I'm uh, well, that was Grandma's turn. Probably come down, I guess. Uh, it is Emeron's turn. Uh, did you mention that they're naturally through magic? Yeah. I'll mention all of their information that I can do. Okay. So, everyone should know. Okay, so that means if I get into the fight, I can use the Force Turret. No, the Force Turret is yeah. Are you thinking about the spell magic? Kind of. <laughs> oh okay. Seven. Wait. Six. All right, don't worry about it. No, I'm gonna throw another down. Okay. Roll attack. Roll. Very close, but blocks it with the shield. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. The second <laughs> one flies up into the air. Um, you casted uh, Thorn Whip, so it flies above you, Emron, and swings down twice with its flaming sword. Uh, one misses, but the other hits. 
and the attack that does hit, as your first, as the first attack it swings with is blocked by the shield, the other one hits for six physical and six fire. It then flies ten feet up into the air, uh, provoking an attack of opportunity from Granite, who's gotten a new attack of opportunity. Karak wasn't holding a melee weapon. A sure can make the attack of opportunity. Emberon, if you were holding a melee weapon of some kind, uh, you can make the attack of opportunity. And Thoridan, I assume you had a melee weapon out. Yes. And if so, you can make the attack of opportunity as well. So it does provoke four attacks of opportunity. 17. Uh, 17? Yeah. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that is a miss. Unfortunately, 18 is a miss as well. That hits. 22. That also hits. No. Huh? Yeah, you can add dex to the damage. Yep. Yeah. However, this is with a non-magical weapon, right? Yep. You slash into it, and it appears to have a hard time uh, finding a whole lot of purchase, uh, yeah, but you do cut into it none the, uh, nonetheless. If I cross friendly, would that have to count it as a Yes, weapon? that would have. 13. Uh, 13 damage. Okay. The two of you swing. That's a cool spell. I like that. You two deal damage to it, it flies up into the air. It now comes around to the first one, which having seen that all of you have, um, with the exception of Kark, have uh, knocked out your attacks of opportunity. Um, mm, attack I'm wrong. But it's not. It's oh, gonna, wait. It flies down. I need you to roll me an athletics check, a Thor, and as it flies down and attempts to kick you off the side of the stairs. My speed never died, but can it keep attacks of opportunity? Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess it'll just. I mean, on the stairs it's kind of awkward, but uh, I guess it's trained well enough. Uh, what's, what'd you roll on athletics? 18? Trying to, trying to flip it. It kicks you, but you manage to hold your ground at first, and then tries to kick you again. Only the, another opposed up fucking bitch. Hey, it has two feet. Well, I don't even make it this time. Hey. Okay. The second one, however, manages to kick and push you over. Yeah. It then flies up uh, 15 feet, having flown down and then flown back. Um, you take... 10 damage from the fall and are knocked prone. Uh, yeah, to 23 for the horse to hit. Ah, uh, horse hits. The horse counts. Uh, sure of this is somehow, but the horse is like, it's okay, fam, I got you. No, that's, why, that's why he missed, because the horse rude up. Well, the, <laughs> yeah, the horse just turns the side and just back kick. That's kind of that's nice. Just some, nice. I was hoping it was a special horse or a Magic it almost horse. crit too. Does it count as magic? No, it doesn't. So it is going to be half of its damage. Damage is damage. Uh, sixteen damage. <laughs> no, it did max damage. Nice. It didn't crit Even me. with the half damage due to the who's being non-magical, it still actually manages to jostle it and, uh, and get a good hit in. It is now after that one has gone. Wait, I, knocked, I uh, forgot. I was on my horse. That mo- I could have made that move. Like movement to the stairs, right? Because your horse has more movement. No, because the horse has to come halfway off the stairs and then go all the way okay, around. So you, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah you only got to it because of the horse. Otherwise, it would have taken you two turns. Okay. Because you were as far away from it as you could have been. Because the other side is. So actually, kind of convenient that you went there because if like Squeak had gone there, he would have been like, "Wait, guys," <laughs> or <laughs> Thor did. It would have taken Thor three turns to get there. So he was like, <laughs> "Damn, these legs." Anyway, besides the point, um, <coughs> let's just die. Let's see. It is uh, now Thornton's turn and uh, Karg's turn. I go um, and I cast one. Okay. Um, uh, you do know their magic resistance, so they'll have advantage on their saving throw against this. Against the one? Yes. Yeah. Any, any, any save they make will be made uh, made with advantage, same as the Duragar. That's how magic resistance works. Okay. Okay. I'm just letting you know because you know that. Alright, what save do I have to make? Mm-hmm. It's a 15. 15? Yeah, and uh, what, what kind of save? Mm-hmm. 
Listen. Okay. Neither of them make it. Yes. They are both slow. And that means... They have minus two AC. They can no longer multi-attack. Now only being able to make one attack. And they have half movement speed. Huh. Additionally, if they start casting a spell, there's a 50% chance it doesn't go off till the turn after the castle. Huh. That's weird as hell. No, slow's really good. A really good diva. No, 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 that's good. That just sounds Also, really no weird. friendly fire. <laughs> no, just because I'm imagining it, everybody goes to cast fireball. Shit. Next turn, they cast fireball. Two fireballs. I feel Can like if it were to happen. No, it just means they lose their turn to casting the next fireball. Oh. Yeah, it's even better. Oh. Yes. It's almost, almost ridiculous. Like slow. Yeah, they're like, eh, 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 fireball. <laughs> so, they have both been slowed. Got a sword and turn card. It's your turn. Uh, so, they're floating in the air, so if I run up the stairs, they can't attack me. Yeah. I will run up the stairs, 35 feet, turn around and shoot them with my bow. But... You can mess with the statue. I should know. Statue You're people. starting to feel more sluggish. You're having a hard time breathing. How... Your eyes are starting to like get kind of fuzzy. Uh, how far is the rest of the stairs? Like, if I um, just try to power up. The well, the thing is, if you try to power up the rest of the way, eventually you're stopped. Okay. Like at the top of these stairs, you can't go any farther. Uh, well, then I'll turn around and shoot them. Okay. I guess. Roll, uh, t- roll uh, attack roll. Alright. Uh, I'm still attacking the same one I was originally. Yeah, at. the first one? Yeah. I'm tempted to attack that one. I probably miss. So <coughs> I assume a 14 misses. A 14, 14 does miss. Even slow. Yeah. Uh, but a 29 hits. 29 mean, definitely hits. And uh, 17 damage. You shoot another arrow, this time through its chest. Uh, they're still not within five feet of each other because they're at different heights? Uh, yeah, these ones are. Oh, they are within yeah. five feet of each other? Yeah. I'll attack the other one then. I mean, diagonally. Uh, still. Could, Amaron Does it count or not? Could Amaron kindly whip one of these back down? He's trying. I'm trying. Um, 19. 19? Oh, 19 hits feet. because of the slot. I don't know why I rolled that. Uh, 9 damage. Okay. You're... Arrows strike each of them. Uh, when it does, they like look at each other and nod and think they're preparing to move apart so that can happen again. Mm. Um, well, they're at least attempting to adapt to their tactics. I will that, make a rude gesture and say, take that, you stinking heaps of metal. You're hurt. Maybe. They don't have faces, you're not sure. Uh, Egos are a little dented. Well, they are intelligent. So uh, squig now goes. Does work. <laughs> yep. Uh, it is now a sure turn. Ah. Uh, so <laughs> they're about fifteen feet up. One is ten feet up, so unfortunately, we still can't melee either of them. Either either horse happy or horse. Yeah. If I jump off the horse. You would have to roll an athletics check, and the attack would be made with disadvantage because you're like leaping up and swinging. <laughs> this isn't Kingdom Hearts. You can't just like jump up and start swinging and be like, "Yeah, I'm super good at this." Fucking okay, so Flurry to keep yourself or Sekiro up. or Kratos, I guess, except in the new game. Yes. Old Kratos. Where's Crash my jump button? <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, technically. Well, he just spins. Uh, yeah, it's like punches and kicks. Nice spin. <coughs> yeah, that's the spin. He just spins with his arm down. That's it. So, uh, yeah, I attack with javelins, I guess. Alright. Uh, that one. Okay. Throw the magic spear at it, they will have. That's oh. true, you'll do full damage if you throw uh, the magic bronze spear you have. Yeah. And it is a thermal weapon, so you won't. Uh, the same spear. stats as the javelin, too, so. Yeah. Really? That spear would be more damage. Uh, no, it's the uh, same. It's just. Uh, it has a versatile, so it could be. They only wielded with two hands. It can't be thrown with two hands, because that's not really a thing. <laughs> that would be very <laughs> weird. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, you attach, like, uh, you attach you attach to it, throw like a shock sword. One less than you roll with. Uh, uh, or no, it's exactly what you roll with shock sword. Yeah, but that would. Oh, yeah, everyone that's around. exactly what I roll with shock uh, Yeah, because it's a plus one weapon. Ah. Uh, 20. T2 to hit. That hits. Roll Dimash. 
Wait, it's D6. It's a D6 plus your strength plus one, so a D6 plus six. Eight. All right. Throw your spear. How do you want to do this? Um. Where were the arrows hit? Uh, one in the front, one in the back, but both in the chest. I'm going to keep aiming for the spots where it was hit and, you know, go for the weak points in the armor. Mm-hmm. Alright, so you throw, pulling a Robin Hood, your spear hits the same place the first arrow did and rips its chest open as it falls to the ground in a clang. You can give that to whoever. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <That's not good>. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it is now, uh, oh. Grandma's turn. Uh, gonna have to oh. uh, make a bonus action to retrieve the spear on the next turn. Yeah, okay. you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to put that in there, grab it. All right. There's another attack there. Can we just throw I do have another attack. Oh yeah, you can throw a job for your other attack. Uh, yeah. well, actually, could I just go and pick up the other spear? Um, so I guess that's the use and action. So I guess if you want your horse to trot over, you can pick up the spear and throw it again. Okay, I do that. <laughs> Silly. Yeah, no, I'm imagining that. <laughs> Does their magic sword Wow, come on! Magic? It was like... What'd you get? Uh, to 11 to hit. Uh, unfortunately, you miss. It sails through the air. Uh, and it is now Grand's turn. Come back. <laughs> you need to chant that. Wouldn't it hit like the... Is, isn't this like a... Corridor staircase, like with walls on the sides. No, no. that's how he was kicked off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ward's a little angry. She's been beaten yet again. Brenna will do her best to take out her bow and turn her attention to the remaining one. Oh, Seventeen and a seven. Both of those miss, unfortunately. One hits a shield and one hits air. Hmm. You want to slow? You want to slow? It's AC went from twenty to eighteen. It's after. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm wrong. It's your turn. Unfortunately, that's a miss. Uh, it is now its turn. It flies down and swings at you once. Oh, wait. If I miss, I want to cast my uh, Is that a bonus there... action? Yeah, it is. Okay. Then you miss with your thorn whip, and as you do, you hold out your hand and you create a blade of flame. It flies down, seeking to meet you, flame blade to flame blade. Mm-hmm. I can find my D20s. However, because it is slow, it only has one attack. Good. <laughs> What's your armor class? 18. It does hit, though. It hits you for 11 physical and 5 fire. And then it attempts to fly up, giving you an attack of opportunity. Sure, you don't have a weapon in your hand, so you can't make an attack of opportunity. And unfortunately, Grant's holding a bow, so she can't either. Uh, my horse can. But the horse can still kick out. <laughs> and you can make your attack of opportunity with your flame blade. Additionally, you are flanking at this moment, so you can make it with advantage. Does the horse oh, get advantage? Yes. Cool. <laughs> Weird. I was saying that. That Did you roll three times? Well, she just, uh, I'm just saying, because well, she has Albanac? Of course, he hit. has Albanac, is it? Three, so. Of course, does not hit, even though it is weak to shield. It has high armor class. It's made of full plate and shield. Yeah, it does no figure. It doesn't have soft, squishy parts. No, it does not. If only I had a weapon that was, that's good against breaking. 13 things. fire damage? Yeah. You swing out at it with the blade burning it. 
is now Thornton and Karg's turn. Whoever wants it more. I'll shoot it again. Oh, uh, it's only 14. That's the first Oh, uh, I know it's 18 is what you got to hit. Yeah. Uh, I shift the five. Okay. 24 to hit. That hits. Uh, 17 damage. All right. How do you want to do it? Uh, I'll shoot it in this dumb helmet. You shoot it with his helmet. It rips the helmet off as, as it dies. Red light just shoots out of all of the <laughs> openings in the armor, and it falls to the ground in a heap. That Mary Jane is yours. Finally, last answer, Mary Jane. <laughs> Additionally, you are now able to move up the stairs. Yeah, and I can move up the stairs the rest of the way. Now, did Vesu go up the stairs? Because Squig is just lying on like the. On the on the stairs as the heads are going, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I pick up Squig. All right, Squig. Once you're picked you up, hear? you feel better. Oh, uh, I hate this lattice. I should note it is now like really hard to breathe. As, however, the rest of you get up, so you have passed the first test. First, perhaps you are not the fools you perceive. <laughs> But it will take the best tool of your most clever person to breach these crystal walls. Your time is running out. Well, I'll I'll shoot say, the what are you crystal saying? Wall with my tools of your most clever person. I'm going to kick that crystal wall. It, okay, you kick the crystal wall. Uh, roll me. I don't know if your foot is your athletics. best Athletics. <laughs> I guess. I think it means an actual physical object. <laughs> if I may, I mean, your foot is physical. Before you hurt your foot. Shatter spike is a tool. I was yeah, I was gonna say I can use shatter spike. I don't think we can. I'm kicking it because the voice is cocky and I'm mad. I'm not actually trying to break yes. it down. I also don't think we can anticipate somebody's that's kicking fair. a wall. Right, if you were to, if you're I to, assume I'm about to take damage, and that's why you asked me to roll in athletics. <laughs> Do I get the feeling that he wants me to touch my most precious object to it, or should I attack it with okay, my bow? If I'll touch my bow to it. Nothing happens. Well, fuck you. Uh, crystal. And and it takes of your most okay, person. you strike the crystal wall. There's like an ing for a second, but nothing happens. I was just gonna say. The surface of the crystal cylinder is cold to the touch, and there are no visible gaps in it that you see in particular, and so do you when you look at it. Touch. You're a holy symbol. What's more precious than your god? Hmm. I thought he said clever. And take your most clever person to overcome this. The best tool of your most clever person. Oh, we did. Yeah. Uh, you hit it with shadow spike. Shatter spike. You swing it with shadow spike. Nothing happens. Touch your Are you saying to it. that in character? Yeah. Okay. Be squig, I think. Although I feel like I'd say lock picks and some thief tool. Right. But... Uh, not to be morbid, but wouldn't the best tool of the most clever person be their mind? Yeah. You're going to bash your head against it? Mm. So, no, that was the most clever. Are you going to look for a place to walk it on? <clears throat> Although, if you came up with that idea, would you I, be? He no. said clever. <laughs> so I'm more tempted to try and use alchemy supplies on it. Or attempt well, I should know. Card asked you to use your lock. Oh, oh, oh. That's why I asked if he was saying uh, anything. Sure. Yeah. Okay. As you pull out your thieves tool and approach it, uh... You do notice there's like a small gap in part of the crystal that you didn't see before. Huh. So when we hit it, it wasn't there. This stupid magic crystal. Yeah. I can do something. You jimmy it, and the crystal like goes up. Just once it does, huh. you are feeling very weak. It's hard to lift your feet. Breathing is very difficult and labored, and it's almost hard to see. On the top of the pillar in front of you is a potion bottle. As you reach out your hand for it, your hand is stopped. There is a glyph etched into the side of the pillar just below the bottle. One more time, the voice speaks. So you have reached my altar, but your time is nearly exhausted and the cure is just beyond your reach. Trust your souls to your gods, foolish mortals. Alright, man. I'm fine with that. I'm... <laughs> I, feel like, 
I would like to live, but okay. Mm-hmm. Uh. I. Does it say again? So you have reached my end, <coughs> but your time is nearly exhausted, and the cure is just beyond your reach. Trust your souls to the gods, foolish mortals. Like the only thing on the pillar visible, aside from the potion ball, is a glyph just below where the bottle is. Uh, do we see what? I can't activate the glyph without touching it, right? Mm. Or no, that's runes. Uh, well, well, the glyph is stopping the hand. Not did he stop? His hand stopped because he saw the glyph. He's like, oh, I don't want to get blown up. No, it's he... blocked by like some sort of force? invisible force. If I uh, um. I Ashra tries uh, praying to his god to uh, guide him. Things. Okay. How, how are you praying? Uh, <coughs> oh Ra, guide me with your light, so that I may save my friends. He has a holy symbol, doesn't he? Yeah, you touch him and pray. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, obviously, it's my. Okay, mm-hmm. you touch your holy symbol. It shines, but nothing happens. Right. <coughs> what? The- <laughs> what the? What the? Jesus Christ! Did he throw it at the room? Did you really I'll throw, throw it? it? <laughs> no. Oh man. Okay, okay. You said guide your way, not your shot. <laughs> no. Yeah! No, once it didn't work, it was like, eh. Oh, <laughs> baby, try reaching in now. You don't, you don't know it didn't work. Your head is blocked. Your breath becomes more labored. Just the uh, scuff and uh, glyph. I'm gonna scratch it with an You're gonna scratch it with an arrow. An arrow head. I'll be back. Alright, you start scratching at it, nothing happens. Mm. I'm gonna try and take the dagger, the ritual dagger that I have, and carve the symbol for Gong onto it. Which nothing happens. Mm. In fact, you can't, like, it's carving something into it is very difficult. His holy symbol actually glowed? Yeah, it did glow like, when he pulled physically? it out. Yes, it physically glowed with, like, a white light when he, uh, when he grabbed it. Uh, mm. Maybe touch it all of us? I did touch it. No, touch the holy symbol to the glyph. I thought I did. No, you uh, held it up. Held it up and prayed. That's why I asked oh, explicitly okay. what you were doing. Oh, um, I touched the symbol then. All right, you grab the symbol of raw. It glows again, and you touch it to the glyph. And as you do, you hear like a slight popping sound, and you are now able to grab the bottle. Okay, don't chug it off. Be on the <laughs> Okay, just what? There's, there's <laughs> you you grab the bottle. As you do, there is a flash of light, and appears before you is an like a 10 or 11 foot long serpent with glowing um, like runes around it. It has uh, like a sort of rainbow scales and feathers glowing off of it. It glows in like a light. If I didn't think this is the same thing that Kieran is, I would attack him. So are you admitting to metagaming? I don't know. What, 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 what? Well, it doesn't look evil, does it? It's a giant. Well, I describe what it looks like. It looks serpent. like a serpent with like rainbow feathers and like glowing light around it. I honestly don't know. Because light is usually good. Yeah, it usually is. Someone can roll. Uh... I already said hello, you're pretty. <laughs> Say hello, you're pretty. Uh... Okay, so you say that. I don't have religion. You want to sign knowledge religion? I could roll. roll I could well. roll religion, but I don't have a bonus to it. As you say that, the creature swivels around to see you. It smiles a big, like, toothy grin. Mm. And as it does, it says, Thank you for releasing me from my prison. Seventeen. You You know, this is a koala. A creature from heaven. A serpent. The omen prayed to them is the serpent as the many rainbow feathered snake of serpent gods but you know they're just a, a higher angelic being so it's oh okay. it's the only god they pray to that we've run across so far that's been good they pray to snail so. snail lord and i take people's skin 
There well, there was the kind of the, 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 the giant cro- the giant uh, hermit crab. Uh, was he a god to them? Though? Drink the, the now, potion first. As that happens, you actually start to uh, feel better. No. Huh? Did we actually even uh, need that? You you ask it if it yeah. even needs the potion. It says, "No. A test must be performed before you are found worthy." And I thank you for accomplishing it. How long is If your souls were less worthy, I would remain trapped. Mm. I get all I could. How long have you been? Hey, you <laughs> How long have you been trapped? Five thousand years. That's a long time. Why were you trapped? When this place was sealed, it was my job to pass judgment my job is over. Now it is yours. What? I don't be trapped here. <laughs> in... No. <laughs> As he says this, in front of him, on the ground in front of you, appear three things. That's what I thought you were saying. Yeah. Like, I guess what yeah, that's, that's everyone immediately. The trapped. twist. <laughs> now you're trapped here. Wait a minute. Oh. No. Fuck. No. 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 A golden here. scale that has like angel feathers uh, etched into it. And um, it, onto one pan of the scales, and like demon like horns and, and demonic symbols onto the other pan uh, appears before you. Additionally, a. Uh, Is he offering us this? What appears to be a him? mirror of some kind, uh, a platinum hand mirror wrapped in silk. And what looks to be a paraphat, a puffer. It's a, it's like a thing you touch to your head. It's like a head necklace. Oh, oh. Huh. Yeah. Are you giving us these? Yes. Oh, okay. They are no longer mine. Scales. Thank you. So what, you, what will you do now that yes. you're freed? I will leave this place. Shift back to where I come from. So what are the others that were trapped here, like you? Most of them. There are none like me trapped here. Oh, I was also kind of talking about the other things that were living here. Yeah, they were guards. Into, like, a narrative. You wouldn't happen to know the way out, would you? He says, you are almost there. The entrance is on this floor. Is there anything we should okay. look out for on the way okay. to the entrance? That's good to know. Okay. You were here when this place this was down, temple. Too? The things in here that it worships are dark creatures. A god of blood and sacrifice. Hmm. Bats and wolves. Hmm. It will not let you leave so easily. Hmm. Especially now that you have taken what is his. Uh, who? I what? cannot say anymore. Hmm. Potion? Uh, Hey, yeah, oh, that does that is... potion actually do anything? Uh, it is a greater healing potion. Uh, I was also asking it, does it say that? <laughs> uh, no, it uh, doesn't say that, but you can, you can, uh, taste it. D- discern. Okay. Our... What did we take? Uh, what have we take? Is, the su- is it okay it... with you if we take the stuff in this room? Like, the offerings, or... That's should we... fine. Okay. Their offerings, their offerings to dark gods, right? Yes. Their off- oh. But you have already taken the dark gods' things. Oh, well. They will not let you go. Taking oh, more, okay. you're going to piss it off more. And it's just going to be. I mean, it well, will, but I mean, it's, yeah, well, it's pissed yeah. off anyway. Either way, okay. we've already done Who's down hit points? And for copper and for. Um, I'm at yeah. 66. 29. 66, 29. I'm down two. Down two. I'm. Uh. Uh, I'm down 15. Down 15? Mm. Down 3. Down 3, Thardin? Uh, I'm also going to miss my guess. I'm just down here. Just, I took... Okay. Wait, if we're going by numbers, damage... we're down 5 oh. and 31. Does okay. the fall damage negate the shield or no? Because I took dam- 10 damage from that. Right? No, it goes to the shield. Okay. So, Emron, you're healed for... 
it uh, it wraps its tail around you, uh, and you are healed for um, thirteen and eleven. Uh, who? How much were you down, Car? Uh, six. Um, okay, Greta. It then uh, like places its wing upon your shoulder, and you are healed for uh, thirteen. And then. Can I see the player's handbook real quick? I'm sorry, you said golden, a scale with golden scales and demon horns on either side, a hand mirror. And what was the third object? You know, like a head necklace. Fetch you oh, that right. snake skin with a fetch a crew press. Wait, what? Don't you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for real. Right also, I don't know if you'd be able to get it because when we kill it, it just goes back to some plane. Yeah, Plus also, I'm pretty sure that'd be a highly evil act because yeah. these things are like completely benevolent. Are any of you down any max it's health out of character or have a reduction to any of your ability scores? Mm-hmm. Not at the moment. Uh, no. Good, bad, uh, bad. No. Okay. Unless we got like curse again and <laughs> didn't know it. No, you're fine. Can you fix this axe? <laughs> no. <laughs> it could unattune it from you if you were attuned to it. Uh, already. But I'm you're already. Attuned. Well, that's how I was saying it. It could have done that. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll ask you his name before it leaves. They say they'll give it to us. No, it's... If it has one. It has a name. I am Kuku Ka. The feathered seven. Kuku Ka? Kuku Ka. K-U-K-U-L... K-A-M. Also, a uh, history check? Uh, sure. Now, the other question I have for you is, are you going to grab the rest of the shit in here? Yeah. yeah. And are you going to cast some identifies while you're doing that? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, can, I can help them out. Yeah. I'll identify it prepared. All right. Well, we're uh, going to deal with that uh, during the break, so uh, stick around. And we're back. You rolled a 21 on your history check to know what... Uh, Kukulan. Yeah. Okay. You know the feathered serpent uh, was a god, a god of judgment, basically uh, putting the um, the sin kind of basically the equivalent of like Anubis. It said that he had a magic scale that would weigh uh, souls and uh, send the unworthy to the afterlife and send the righteous to the good afterlife. You also know their heart would usually be put on there, but judging by the magical scales, you don't think that's necessary? You think that's just something the government did? Yeah. Um, the fact that he was trapped here, somewhat surprising to you. When, in addition to the three items that you identified during the break, uh, which turned out to be a balance of harmony, a mirror of the past, and a parapet of wound closure, there's also the mask, which weighs 30 pounds and is worth 25 gold. Right. And all of the uh, stuff on the shelves, when gathered up, totals at about 450 gold. So, that is all there is in this room. Do we want to turn around and go for that other hidden door or that other door we didn't go down? Is he still here? No. Uh, He's just, after healing you, he disappeared. Damn. I wanted to ask him about the jaguar people on the door. So, where you go? There are two ways you can go. The secret door and the not secret door. Secret door. So there's no other path through no. this room. No. This is a dead end. Oh, okay. Oh. Secret door. I didn't think secret so. Door. Uh, yeah. Oh, secret, door. secret door. Okay. Yeah, it's right next to us. And to open the door to that room. An amber haze drifts in this room, which is unoccupied. Strangely shaped and colored mirrors hang on the walls, and a large oblong stone basin stands in the middle of the floor. The basin is about ten feet long, five feet wide, and three feet tall. It is filled with a steaming golden liquid. The red mirror on the eastern wall seems to be composed of fiery glass and framed in bronze. Light beams are broken by the mirror into mired flames, and ghostly shapes seem to flicker in its depths. 
On the northern wall are two mirrors, a striking black one of obsidian frame in lacquered wood, and a stark white mirror with a wrought iron frame. The black mirror has a distinctive earthy odor coming from it and the blackness of subterranean caves, uh, but it seems of crude construction and reflects objects only when they are close to it. The white mirror is a pungent, or has a pungent odor of nutmeg and spice, and its depth are gallant and smoky. The mirror that hangs on the eastern wall is of stone frame and blue in color. Reflex, reflections in this mirror ripple through the viewer as if they were appear, looking through a pool of water. Hmm. What do y'all do? Search the place your traps first. Okay, we'll make the sign. Yes. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. Twenty-two, twenty-five. Nine. Nine. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Okay, so three of you find there's a secret door in this room. Again? Yep. Oh, we just went through a secret door. Ah, secret okay. door. So okay. then... Be careful looking at the mirrors, but we should probably see if there's anything else in the room. Because those mirrors are weird. But you said there's like a trough of like golden liquid. Well, well he's steaming <laughs> like there's one side of the south. While breathing out of these trolls. Too late. <coughs> no, it's also not. Too late. You breathe it in, that's why you're coughing. Well, yeah, this place is already filled with the amber haze. Mm. We're all breathing it. Emron's the only one coughing. Be uh, so you're taking out your alchemist tools <coughs> and what? Seeing if I can identify what's in that basin. Mm. So what are you sticking into it? Glass jar. Tongs. Okay, the glass jar and the tongs turn to gold. Put your hand in it. <sighs> I'm just joking. Heart is clean. Or it's These are clean. useless now! Yes, they are. You can but sell them to buy new ones. ones. You lose a lot of them like that. Yeah. You, this is not so the I don't time. lose these. That's true. Wait, but dip a bunch of useless junk in there. Mm. <laughs> yes. Does it look like it has uh, the liquid? <laughs> did it seem to Wait. lessen the amount of nope. liquid that was does, it, to... does what he dipped in there weigh more now? Like, is it actually heavy? Like, yeah. Can I Fill Can we check to see the it, thing uh, with that liquid and have it still be liquid? Yeah. Dip something in Once there. Once you pour the out. golden liquid out, it turns into pink water. Dip the pink. Okay. Splash. Uh, I'll splash the pink water yeah. on my. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you want that. I'm thinking of taking like a big pitcher, using the tongs to dip it in there, turn it gold, scoop it up, and seal it. So what are you doing with the pink I'll liquid? I'll splash the pink water on my shield. That it doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. That doesn't turn gold. Yeah. No. It appears as if once the golden liquid leaves the base, it becomes worthless. Don't. Pink liquid. Yeah. The pulp. Uh, dumping it back in. It doesn't turn back into a golden liquid. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. Hmm. The the liquid. Okay. Hmm. We could slowly break whatever kind of puzzle this is. One cup at a time. You could. You could also. There are also the mirrors all around the room. Yeah. I assume the tech magic would be down with what we did in that. I'm not shoving the mirrors in. Yeah. No. Yes. Well, you want to go over to a mirror? Yeah. We should mirror. Yeah, you guys have any more magic first. Well, I said watch out for the mirrors. Well, I remember the last yeah, time last I saw time. a mirror. Which mirror are you walking for? That's really fun. The one that smells like clothes because it's very cute. Uh, so that was the black mirror? I miss points. Mm. Uh, I've across a lot of them down here. I'll dip my shield in the gold liquid okay. and stuff. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to get real <laughs> As you look into the like mirror, you see a reflection blur. Mm -hmm. that must be then, the reflection reappears. It is Emron, but you're wearing a uh, uh, loincloth and a um, jade and bead-like um, and uh, uh, aurochs skin. Like, basically, you look like an older. Huh. With a feathered headdress and, uh, and a golden staff. Okay. The image says something to you, but you don't understand it. It's an old one. Yeah. Check 
Um, but if it's a noun, it should speak druidic. Does the creature? Hmm. I'll bet my shield is gold. <laughs> my shield becomes gold. Yeah. Is it still functional like a shield? Or is it too I'm going to look at one of the other mirrors. I don't see why I would. Hmm. Which other mirror are you going towards? Um, what were the other two? There were... Uh, <laughs> there's a red mirror, the black mirror you looked at, a white mirror, uh, and a blue mirror. I'll look at the white one next. Okay. Your reflection in this mirror looks like it's blurred by fine mist. I'm gonna go Roll me a wisdom it. saving throw. Okay. Uh, this is fine. Uh, 18. Okay. Yeah, it's me. Your, your, your face looks like misty and blurred in it, but other than that. Hmm. Weird. Detect magic. Are you going to re-ritual cast detect magic? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to go look at the blue one in the meantime. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> He's just going to... This okay. is fine. Let's set up off the track. Uh, it appears to you're just looking at water in this mirror. Huh. No reflection at all, just water. There's a there's a bit of a reflection, but it looks like you underwater, basically. Hmm. I'll go look at the red one. Okay. Uh. Can I say where are you uh, him, or are you just gonna let him do it? He's been fine so far. If he gets in real trouble, I'll step in. If I can. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> I can't really see that. Uh, I can hear you all. I don't care. Okay. Yes, As you go cool. over I to the red in mirror and look at it, there is kind of a, a ghostly white version that Amaron that appears. And as it does, from off screen on the mirror, Amaron is impaled oh. by a blade, lifted up as Zipe lifts Amaron into the air and like holds Amaron by the and like begins to pull, causing the wound to I, open, and it begins drinking uh, Amaron's blood and then rips Amaron in half. I only Amaron can I see will that. Run to, wait, can we all see it? Uh, if you look over, yes, you can see. This. I will run to Amaron uh, and try to talk to him in front of the mirror. Uh, what? Am I dead? Where's no, you're just looking reflection. at this reflection. Okay. Uh, you are running over and attempting to tackle Emron from... In front of the mirror. Okay, roll me athletics check. All right. And roll me a close athletics. <laughs> but, oh. I mean... Why? She beats me. Oh, 14? I mean, he beats me. <laughs> 14? And what did uh, Emron get? Uh, 10. Okay, or what did, uh, yeah, Karka. So, you still pull Emron out of the way, but instead of tackling Emron to the ground, like you think should happen, instead you just kind of, like, push Emron. Just kinda uh, the image disappears. Huh? The image disappears. <coughs> You're a lot more sturdy than I thought you would be, Emron. It surprised me, too. Uh, I'd be careful some of these mirrors may actually make the reflection. Do I know that I had to make a save, or to me, did nothing happen? On the... On the white mirror. The white mirror? It was, yeah. No. Mm, you the don't black mirror. That one was no. earthy. The white mirror. No, the the blue mirror, mirror also had a save, and so did the white mirror. Oh. I didn't make a save for the blue. Yeah, or wait, the water no, you did. Yeah. It was just, water. just the black, yeah, the, earthy one. No, the white mirror also made a save. I asked for a wisdom save. I that only need to save against the white one, though. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Sorry, I thought it was the earthy one, and I thought the black mirror was the earthy one. The white one was the nutmeg spice no. one. The white mirror was a different mirror, and that's the only one that required a save. Okay. Uh, well, the spicy one was the black one. That was the first one I went to. Anyway, that is all besides the point. What is actually the point is, what are you doing? The image appears to have disappeared. And if you get back up in front of the mirror, nothing else appears. Uh, I'll stand off to the side of the mirror and stick my hand towards the glass. Just glass off it. Are, are you gonna touch the the red mirror? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not standing in front of it. I'm just like. 
put in your hands in places it shouldn't be. The mirror burns your hand for one fire damage. Ow. It is violently hot to the touch. I'll shake my hand and be like, <coughs> oh, wait. Cause will do to that. I'll, uh, I'll shake yeah, my hand. You're casting, I right? know. You're ritual casting. It takes 10 minutes. I think he's also reminding people, hey, stop <laughs> being dumb. Let me figure you it out first. That. Do you wait for him to finish? Uh, I will after having touched it and got okay. burned. Well, that's nothing to smell. Uh, the red <laughs> mirror was magic, but it doesn't appear to be magical anymore. Um, the black mirror is still actively magic, uh, with divination magic. Mm. Uh, divination and transmutation magic, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the white mirror does not appear to be magical at all, and the blue mirror has abjuration magic on it. Not the golden, the golden liquid has transmutation magic on it. Uh, Here we go, go figure. Uh, Taking the magic repeating crossbow, if I dip that, it's, it's not magic. gonna fire if you. Hmm? It won't fire anymore. Oh, do you. Because it is magic. so I'm It gonna... doesn't turn it. Hmm. Your shield's not magical, right? No, it's a regular shield. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's non magical. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, hmm. your shield oh. turns to gold. The Pelota Ball. The Pelota Ball turns to gold. But then it won't be usable. <laughs> what? It won't. Well, you don't have any I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep the ball then. There it is. Uh, yeah, what do, you, what do y'all do? There's also a secret door there. Uh, I don't know if anybody has anything do they don't know? think is useful that we can sell for later, we can dip it now. I'll say to Thor, do you think no. the room was used for When we... you went around with your detect magic, did you walk up to each of the mirrors? No. The only oh, I'm just thing. asking. I'm not going to do that after fucking hearing it. Man. I'm just... Nervous. Yeah. Thorne's not going to. Uh, he's going to avoid contact. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm-hmm. He wants to run around and touch all the mirrors. Just more interesting than that. I'm not so sure about what's up with these mirrors. Nothing really seems to happen. Okay. Well, it's, that one burned um, me, so... Um. Yeah. But it's reflection doesn't really do anything other than show horrific images. Well, if you want, I can go touch it. No, but... So, well, what, are, what are you guys doing? Sorry. Let's go through the other door and then the secret door. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe there'll be something in there. I had asked Lord and if he knew what the room was, I can make a check for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, if you, you don't want. think the room... <coughs> yeah, you don't know. Okay. Um, you go into the next door. In the center of this diamond-shaped room is a dais on which a weirdly formed altar rests. The altar is made up to, remem- to resemble a many-armed and beaked octopus-like creature with a large purple-red stone in its forehead. The altar and floor are covered with dust. The walls of the room are decorated with paintings of the sun and moon in motion. Other images show people standing about a temple making sacrifices of flesh and blood, while the figure of a priest holds the heart of his latex victim above his head. When you say in There's motion, you don't mean that the sun and the moon are actually moving in the thing. No, but like the different paintings are like the sun in the sky, then the sun farther, then the sun and the moon. And the, yeah. We haven't been in this room yet. No, you haven't. Oh, okay, sorry, that just sounds oddly like another room that we were in. Nope. Huh. What was in this room besides the, the murals on the wall? A weird octopus altar with a stone in its head. I figured that would be more interesting than the paintings. Archie would remember. Uh, this goes to show you. <laughs> yeah. He saw what about these paintings of the sun and moon? Weird fucking multi beaked octopus thing. I don't even know. Shut up, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, you think he'd be the most into art? I'm yeah, the sun and the moon, not the octopus. Okay. You're going to investigate it? Does he yeah. still have the tech magic up? No. Yes. Not the ultra radiates an aura of transmutation. That's not good. Yeah, it could be now. Mm. That gold pool had transmutation on it, too. Mm-hmm. Toss something at it. It'll turn to gold. <laughs> what are you going to toss at the statue? I just toss one of my yeah. little magical rocks. Shoe. Well, it doesn't do anything Oops. magic. No, no, no. The, the, the statue might, might be trapped. Either way, it's just a regular rock. Are you going to throw your stone? A regular yeah. rock will work. 
Sure. Not, it doesn't do anything. Because if it's <laughs> because it's magical. Do you want to pick up a normal stone? Yeah. Time? It doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, check it. Want to go up and check the thing? Yeah. Right there with, yeah, see, if I can see anything with my eyes first. Okay. Yeah. Dragon eyes. It's a oh. uh, <laughs> 10. So, no. uh, there's the gem in its forehead that looks interesting, but no, the, it just looks like a weird altar resembling a weird, the weirdest octopus you've ever seen. Huh. It has beaks all over its body. I've oh. never oh. I said multiple beaks and limbs, yeah. Uh, I've never seen anything like it before. Nope. <laughs> it doesn't look like it has a hole or like a tree or anything. No, it doesn't look like it. No. I wonder if this is one of the other gods they worshipped. Maybe. Uh. I think these rooms are just weird. Yeah. Everything down yeah. here is weird. Weirder than usual. It doesn't seem to have any real Look purpose. around to see if the area around the altar is shot. Sure. Right. I assume people are Four. Doesn't seem so. Looks alright. Uh, Squid seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> do you want the gem? It's up to you guys. Do you want the gem? Actually, how big is the whole octopus again? Uh, it's pretty big. It's uh, takes up most of the room, so no. Okay. Just a picture of the statue. Imagine like a fifteen foot radius of octopus. It's pretty. It's pretty. Jeez. It's pretty big. Because oh, if it was a small little, little statue, like those pictures, you're like moving it's between its legs like, to, to move around it. That's. But the gem is pretty big. Obviously, being in its head. Yeah, why not snag it? So it's probably a trap. It's transmutation. It's, it's, a trap. it's got transmutation magic, so maybe as soon as you uh, take the stone, it'll transmute the octopus. Okay, you grab the you grab the stone. I will attempt to start wedging it out with. Uh, I will say with my dagger. Okay. I'm no expert at this, but. If I jostle it, it will come free. This is how it's done in the stories, right? Mm -hmm. So, you move up with the dagger, but the thing is, in order to like reach it, you gotta kind of, because it's in the center of it, so you gotta kind of lean on part of it. And as you do lean onto it, your hip sticks to it, and it begins to spin around. Mm -hmm. I'd have to climb on top of it, maybe, so. So, additionally, for everyone else who was in the room, I want you to roll me a dexterity saving throw. Stays alive and it was making it! Of course it is. Did anyone fail uh, 15? Yes. I failed. That's a failure and a failure. Anyone else? <laughs> Wait, plus four. I still fail. Uh, so I make it. You, you make it? You two also made it? I made it anyway. Make it by one. Okay. Thank you. The four of you dive to the ground. Thorny, you are grabbed by another tentacle, and you you and Grana are starting to be whipped around the room as the thing begins spinning like a merry-go-round. Mm. I was the altar spins. Gonna ask if I could prepare action, but it was too late. But no. Additionally, no it's spinning so fast that you can't even keep your feet on the ground. You the two of you take a D take one damage as you're being bashed around the thing. The rest of you are prone on the ground as the tentacles whip around you. Is it like it's what do y'all do? Still a statue, it's just spinning. Yeah. I'm gonna try to crawl like to the, the top. center of it so you can uh, find some type of mechanism to jam. You're gonna try uh, to crawl where? Crawl like towards the thing that it's spinning from, like its center, I suppose. All right, roll me another dexterity saving throw. Make it fast, what? But since you're crawling away from him, you're not gonna have the plus four. Uh, it's constantly moving, so I don't. I think web will do much. You're, you're not gonna help uh, that. Yeah, I, I heard. Okay. Ten. As you crawl forward, your back accidentally bumps one of the tentacles, and you are whoop, whipped ah! up. 
Uh, now, what do you two do? You can try to wrench yourself free of the thing. It's going to require a uh, check, either athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Oh, uh, to me. does my horse have to make the eyes up safe? Your horse is too big, it's grabbed, which means it took one damage. <laughs> like, it can't fall prone. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> horse fall! Uh, no. Their falling prone is over. <laughs> it would still be back. I wouldn't have any type of little advantage since being small. You rolled too low. Yeah. Uh, so, what did you guys get on your escape checks? Greta? 13. It's close, but you aren't quite able to pull yourself off. Thorvin, what did you get on your escape? Am I uh, guiding something? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, is guidance an action? Because if so, you could guidance, but it means you won't be able to try to break free until the next turn. Well, no, 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 wait. Well, is it? Okay, yeah. so, you, so you cast guidance on yourself in preparation of breaking free on your next uh, action. So one action passes again. You're pulled up. Uh, the three of you take five damage as you're <laughs> swinging around the room faster now. Ah, now it's the next turn. Do you have one? What do y'all do? I do not have the Oh, wand. you have it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll use the wand to entangle. Can I try sure. busting out the wand of web as well? Or, he's, or is it moving too fast? You got no, you're being flung around too quickly. You're gonna have a wand. The wand flies uh, out of your hand and so it's Kark's eye. Can the entangle work against the statue itself? Yeah. Or you, oh, okay. Then, if yeah, you cast can. entangle, it schools the thing enough that you guys will have an advantage on your escape checks. Oh, boy. <laughs> With yeah, advantage and the D four. Well, I didn't roll advantage yet. Yeah, I yeah, said so you have advantage because the the tank. Yeah, uh, I have sixteen. You don't know what you have to be. What what? What did you get? What did you get? If you said eighteen, then all right. I didn't say any number. I just asked. Well, I like, well, actually six in the pocket. You got a sixteen. Yeah, without the guidance that I used to already. You get it on both. Yeah, because it's it advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just roll it and it oh, adds to whichever one rolled higher. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. What did Squid get? Twenty. And what did uh, Grandma get? Twenty-seven. Okay. <laughs> and I assume you're doing athletics, acrobatics, and athletics respectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Squiggy managed to roll off onto the floor. Brenna and Thornton managed to pull themselves off of the thing. Now, as you get off of it, you are flung. And you each take another four damage. How did the thing stop spinning being like held by the entangle? Cool. All right. Yeah, well, now, if you'd like to, you can grab the jack. Because it's no longer there. Sure. Maybe that'll, turn, maybe that'll turn it off. <laughs> uh, look at your face. Well, does yeah. something happen? Yeah. Does go back up? Well, um, I'm going to cast Wand of Web on it, trying to like anchor it to the floor. Sure. You anchor it to the Some floor. Fucking well. You're pretty floor. sure even if the trap goes off again, if it works that way, it won't be able to move. Okay. That should be good. I have a better chance. I will continue doing what I was doing before. You grab the jump. Cool. Once you have it in your grasp, you don't think it's worth anything. Like, it's it's big, but it, it doesn't... It's a rock. Like What's the dip in a gold like ring? Ah! All, all gems are rocks. What do you mean? It's it's not like... Like a jeweler wouldn't buy it. You you know, Thornton specifically knows that it's it's like... It's like costume jewelry, but it's not even good enough to be worth, like, silver. You might get a couple coppers from someone who doesn't know any better. It's, it's like if you picked up an interesting-looking yeah. rock off the side. It's the Monopoly the money equivalent of, uh, of a gem. Card did raise a good point. Yeah, we're gonna dip, dip it in the liquid. Yeah. Card, you dip it in the... Are you rock. dipping in the liquid? That I don't know. What color is it? It's red. Kind of like it how it is. Alright, that's, that's fine. Okay. Um, 
You holding on to it? Yeah. It's neat. Okay. Yeah, so you're good. putting it in your pouch. Or I'm under sorry. my arm, depending on... It sounded like it was really big, so... It's, it's pretty big. I'm just asking if you're putting it in the bag of holding. Okay. Big? I mean, to be more convenient, yeah. Okay, so you hit up Squig. Squig, roll me you a wisdom saving throw. slow down, so now I'm not... Now I don't... Well, it's too late. Squig, roll me a wisdom saving throw. I don't think it'll fit. Long. Eleven. Squig starts dancing. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, just so you know, no perform and zero charisma. Squig starts dancing badly. I, what's Squig, happening? What's wrong with I, you? I can't stop moving. You look like a method dick having a seizure. I'm just going to uh, Is that a character? No, I'm just a method dick. Method dick. addict. Method okay. addict. The fuck's a method dick? Uh, I said the word wrong all the time. <laughs> the method, method dick. Addict. Whatever. I always say the word wrong when you say it. That yeah. word specifically. Oh, okay, so. Yeah. Now I should know, he's still holding the stone as he's dancing. I sure fix the stone. You grab it from him? Yeah. You stop dancing. Keep that away from me. Uh, can anyone figure out what's with the stone? I'm not touching it at all. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to place it to him? Because he can. I'll start backing up if he starts putting <laughs> No one can know how terribly I dance. <laughs> I have a positive deck score. So it didn't help me. Dance is a charisma uh, Well, then I can't dance very badly because I have a negative charisma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Which means Kendrell has 10 uh, decks, but apparently dances pretty well. Yeah. Not as well as Tira, but we can't all have expertise in perform. That's kind of cheating. Uh, yeah, uh, I could perform the crap out of that dance. But I mean, the dance is pretty good. Plus one. Yeah. It's not bad. Damn, I finally break in character. Just to point out that Tiro probably wouldn't even be like, you guys are going to break this charm on me. He'd probably just be like, I'm owning this. Well, you know, the dance and how you die, I believe. You can dance if you want to. You so, can leave your friends behind. So we can't dip that. This is magic. Obviously, yeah. <coughs> probably work. Also, so, don't touch me. What do you do with the stone? <laughs> 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 All right, roll me dexterity. You both make opposed dexterity checks. Damn it, paper. <laughs> you roll garbage. Did you get it? Uh, seven, thirteen. Right, he attaches the stone to you. As long as oh, Shara holds the stone to your card, he gets dancing. Right. What's the card? Is a charisma modifier? Hmm. Nine. Okay, one. he dances even worse than Squig did. <laughs> I'll try to dance away from him in the stone. So unless he chases me down. <laughs> no, not even that. That's an actual move. Uh, sure, do you, do you conti- how long do you continue to hold the stone to him? <laughs> as amusing as this is, I'll stop. <laughs> pulls the stone away, you stop dancing. Good. Don't ever do that again. You jerk. All the hosts. And I'll move away from the stone. Is there any way to hold the portable hold open so we can drop it in? We don't have a portable hold. Or right. Do you down. want to hold it open and have to drop it in? Yes, it'll actually fit through the opening. Yeah, it will. Or you can hand him and he can do it. Yeah. Well, it could be useful. What if we just touch it to an enemy? <laughs> You'd have to why touch it, it yourself. Why is it doing it to you or Grant? Do you want to roll an intelligence check? Yeah. Maybe it's the second person. Uh, transferred to? I don't know. Uh, Maybe it doesn't work after it's done something. 16? Uh, they were wearing plate armor. It touched both of your skin. Mm. So, uh, yeah, gloves. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe. Skin contact. Mm. Skin contact with the stone makes you dance. Huh. Which is why I had to go back and be like, oh, well, they weren't plate armor, so fuck you, never mind. Okay. And yeah. I'm gonna take a blanket and fucking wrap that in, then put it in the bag. So then anybody can reach in the bag and the blanket starts dancing. Do you try to do that? Yeah. Wrap All right, you wrap it in the blanket, and as soon as you pick it up with the blanket, roll me a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. wait. You 
had metal gauntlets. <laughs> so it's metal? The blade gets too thin. Uh, oh, all right, okay. pick it up and you put it in, but you still feel the dancing coming over you. So you drop it as you're like, ah! Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to drop it on the floor, but not in the back. Plus, they didn't care for what use is a stupid dancing stone. Do you want to roll Arcana? Or touch it to an enemy. Watch them squirm. No. Literally. 24. So, you know, and you can kind of figure out that the spell effect that they're coming over is a spell called Otto's Irresistible Dance. It was supposedly developed by a witch who cast it upon a man and made him dance until he fell dead. The origins of the spell are really evil, although a lot of people mostly use it as a trick now. But, uh, yeah. No, it's a, it's a pretty nasty spell. You're also pretty sure this is a cursed object, because normal magic items don't work this way. Well, at least it wasn't the altar of confusion. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Where is this do <laughs> I'll tell you right now, my stone is a cursed object. Why and... couldn't it be an altar of confusion? <laughs> oh, I don't think there is an altar of confusion <laughs> They could make one. Uh, Thorin did say is it. Is it? It's not yeah. just magical. It is, cur- it is it's cursed. Or the cursed. Pool. It's. Hmm. It just uh, makes uh, people yeah. dance, of course, as you can see. Mm. And they mostly people with magic use it as a trick nowadays. But for I mean, it's from a witch that made a guy uh, dance until he died. Really? Yeah. Yes. If a witch lose, 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 or lose. Mm. Then perhaps we can get rid of it once we're out of here. I feel like it has, it might have more versatility to it than you know, maybe just get rid of it right now. Huh. Yeah. It is a curse item. Oh, well. He wants to get rid of it right now. Uh, yeah, but sure that's, the, the curse it. just makes you dance. And have you forever. Right? Yeah, I'm going to tell you forever. We could just wrap it in something stronger. It, the bl- the blanket gave means... you a chance, like a ch- more of a chance. No, it didn't. No, oh no, no, wait. Yes, it's, exactly. the it's the same regardless. Um, we could it just used to be like thick gauntlets. Like it worked because you guys weren't playing on. Wrap it in the blanket and then dip it in the gold. You dance in stone in case of a golden blanket. Yeah. So if we'd want it out, we'd have to break the gold apart. Even yeah. so, the, the blanket's still worth something. We could. You guys want to do that? But if you want to use it, wouldn't you want to use it subtly? It's a giant rock. How are you going to use it subtly? Here, take this. Hold sure. this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't for sure. Out of character. The old handing me costume jewelry that's cursed to make me dance forever. Huh? Sneaky. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just run up to someone. So is that what you guys are going to do? Touch it to them. Wrap it in a blanket, turn it to gold, and then... I guess so. It that's sounds like fun, fun at any rate. You guys do it. <laughs> There's only one door you haven't been through, assuming you don't want to mess around with the mirrors anymore. Uh, no, that's not oh, I absolutely want to. If Squig ever got, I will if Squig ever got swallowed by something extremely big, you could just get the Are you actually going back and looking at the mirrors? I'm very curious about the transmutation. <laughs> oh, the other. Because it showed something interesting. Is that the one that showed you as an almond? Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's still there, but it's speaking almond, so you don't know. Translate. Some translate. Touch. Does anyone have tongues or comprehend languages? Uh, dead language. No? Dead, dead language. No. Mm. I, I thought somebody did. Oh, I, thought somebody I did. don't. I just have speak with animals. <coughs> Doesn't one of the items oh, have... Oh, wait, is it... Man. I have speak with animals. So? Yeah. I'm gonna transform into an animal so that my reflection will be an animal. Uh, okay, so you, what do you transform into? Hmm. Huh, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you have I mean, to, if it um, works out, you have to transform into speak talk. Oh, you also that ring that gives you free fucking speak with animals stuff. Right. So, you're gonna you speak with animals and then turn yourself into an animal? Yes. Okay. What animal are you turning yourself into? I'll turn into a... Something vocal and a parrot. <laughs> well, no, it might be Olman again, actually. Um... Elks might be a good choice. They have a language, don't they? It doesn't need to have a language. You have to speak with animals. Up. You can yeah. turn yeah. into anything. I guess a wolf, because it seems right, to be You high. turn into a wolf. The wolf stands before you, and it says, and you're able to communicate with it, command me to answer, and I shall. Huh. 
What do you do? Command me to answer, and I shall. Okay, sure. What does the, uh, what's the red mirror do? What did Command it me to answer, and I shall. God damn, I command you to answer them. Command me to answer, and I shall. Turn around and look at them and just... The wolf shakes its head. Mm. Oh, maybe the command has to be in all of them. Uh, <laughs> maybe it just yeah. needs to be part of the sentence. Maybe. Mm. Or maybe it's appropriate. Maybe, maybe just say answer. That's the shortest sentence you can come up with. Did you try to speak to it? Uh... Wait, now that we know what it's saying, well, we can, Imran knows. Er, now that Imran knows what it's saying, we can change back here in Ullman again and decipher what it's saying and say it back in Ullman? Because he knows exactly what the reflection is saying. Right. You just gotta okay. repeat the Ullman phrase. Sweet. No, once you step back, you won't be able to understand it anymore. Yeah. Also, the grammar might be different from Ullman between whatever it can normally hear. You're gonna have to stay in the form in order to understand it. Oh man. I don't know Puzzling. how to command it. Hmm. Well Just bark at it. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I'll just change back. Okay, you change back. It changes back as well and says something in Olman. Probably, if you had to guess, command me to answer, and I shall. Turn around the phone. I'm pretty sure you need to talk to it in its own language. Mm. So we can't like decipher it. Oh well, because we know what the what it means. But just like, can we just repeat what it's saying back, or at least whatever? Do you just try to say back to it when it says to you? Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Uh, say each word individually. Doesn't seem to do. Probably have some activation word that we don't know. Right. We searched the entire room. Do. Maybe for somebody specific. Magic's weird. Or it can be. I don't know, the other room is I'm gonna touch there. We can always try touching this one if you want, but I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I bet it's just <laughs> saying, you're gonna touch I it. command you to answer and I've then poor the phrase. Impulse control. Uh, you touch it and nothing happens. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. How heavy is it? It's connected to the wall. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, uh, the next. Do you think I want to use the mirror on this room? The mirror? Yeah, it tells yeah. you stuff about the past. Right? Oh, mirror the past? Okay. Yeah. Like, when before... Okay, I don't get to pick... That's right. It's vague and vague. You have to use it on, like, you can't just use it on the room. What are okay. you going to use it on? Are you going to use it on the mirror? Yeah, I'll use it on the mirror. Okay. Um, you use it on the mirror. You see the past. In the past, you see an omen priest speaking to itself. It casts some sort of spell upon the mirror and then converses with it. Huh. Uh, I'll tell... Imran, and I'll tell. I'll say, when I looked in the mirror, a priest cast a spell on the mirror, and then it seemed to do. Oh, something. you know what? You can also roll me Arcana as well. All right. Uh, twenty one. You know, th- despite the language barrier, it looks familiar. It looks like that time that orc woman made you give her the. Your bow, and then she threw it down the stairs. Command. It's the command spell. Uh, <laughs> would I just say it's the command spell, or would I say it's a? Uh, so do you how um, do you say? It? Uh, the spell seems to be similar to the one that work uh, priestess of uh, the work priestess cast that made me handle my bow. Hmm. Oh, that huge jerk. Well, none of us are a priestess. Um, I don't think any of us have that ability. I do, but it's not prepared. Uh, well, maybe if we're still in here after another long rest, we can come back to this. 
Okay. Now maybe you should move on. You guys move on? Uh-huh. Alright, you head over to the other door. Uh, okay, going through it. This room is decorated with a bizarre diorama depicting the land of the dead. Small, brightly painted clay statues have been placed around the room to represent the inhabitants of this realm and the unfortunate people they have taken into their care. In the center of the room, the floor rises to form a small hill. A group of small figures seem to be struggling to roll a boulder up the hill while a devil drives them on. Above the hill, in the ceiling, is a glowing spot that illuminates the entire chamber with an eerie silver light. A cobblestone path leads from the western door to the foot of the hill. A similar path runs eastward and then veers south. Sections of the diorama uh, around the perimeter of the room depict different environments in the land of the dead. In the western end of the room is a region of burning sand. The devil tortures those who have been unfortunate to fall into their hands. Along the southern side is a a grassy plain where people frolic and hunt antelope and deer. North of the grassy plain and south of the hill, the floor opens into a model of a canyon. A river of lava flows down while flames lick the wall. East of the hill, in the side area of the room, is a counterpart to this fiery canyon, an icy waste. To the north of the hill is a putrid, bubbling marsh where figures strive to keep their heads above the surface. From out of the marsh, a black, torpid river wends its way past the northern edge of the hill and flows west to pour over the lip of a stream-filled chasm in the northwest corner of the room. Within this dark chasm, worms pursue the fleeing forms of naked people. In the south corner of the room on the eastern wall is a barred door. I don't think we should look over this room because it's obviously similar to that room that had firewall. I'll set off another one of those. I'll examine the diorama more closely. So you're gonna you're, so you're gonna walk around the room? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what area? Uh, Ricky, you know. I prefer the grassy plain myself, but that's because that's the part of the of diorama that appeals to me. Okay. You step up onto the grassy plain. Yeah. Uh, where are the rest of you? What part of the room are you looking at? I look over where the worms are. Alright, uh, you walk over to the worms. Who else? Uh, the desert portion? You might be sitting? I guess so, yeah. Okay. Any of the rest of you checking out the room? Okay, if so, where are you walking? Moving in this room. I mean, I'll, like, look at the, the river of lava section because that sounds kind of neat. Okay. Does that mean the marsh is the only one that's not being looked at? No, okay. there is uh, an icy plain, a marsh, and a river. And the hill. I'll check the hill. You check the hill? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I'll check out the marsh. Check out the marsh. Okay. I think it's lovely this time of year. So you went towards the desert. Mm-hmm. You walk into the desert. Roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> no perception. Huh? I said we should roll perception before we walk into the room, but this guy is like, ah, I saw nah, was, we don't need to do that. I, I was going to examine the grassy Well, plant. you have to walk around to like look at stuff, unless you have magical eagle vision. 17? 17? You're fine. Uh, Kark, roll me a charisma save. Really? Mr. Nate. 16. Um, and Ryan, you went to the worms? Yep. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, uh, how uh, many people are uh, most well nice. by, uh, 18. 18? Or of protection. Uh, no one. Oh, 19. No. Yeah, we all split up. Keep. Let's split uh, up, gang. Thornton, roll me a strength saving throw. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not your worst. This. 12. You were knocked over. Oh, wait. Sorry. 13. That doesn't matter. Probably. You were knocked off the hill by a magical force. As you tumble to the ground, you fall. (coughs) Uh, 
you fall into the ice. Your plate armor immediately starts to freeze, and you take uh, 11 cold damage. In addition, you have a, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until your armor stops being cold. Uh, Squig, tell me where you are. Uh, where you? Walked again, remind me. Checking out the uh the, the marsh. The, the swamps. Yeah, we got a marsh. Oh, you start to feel short breath. of breath. It's hard to breathe. I was going to start to the camp of hearts. When <laughs> Grena, when you walk into the river of lava, your armor immediately begins to heat up in steam and you take nine fire damage. And we'll, can, uh, we'll have disadvantage on attack uh, rolls and ability checks until your armor is not super hot anymore oh, or it's off. Spell. I, didn't want to really walk into the lava. It doesn't matter. Walking in the vicinity of it, like once you walk into its area, your armor immediately starts to heat up. Lava's really uh, hot. So. I'm describing walking into the lava. Sorry, I um, didn't. Into the area of the lava. All right, so that happens. Well, let's just get out of this run. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're gonna go. So where are you gonna go? Oh, the door is hard. The door? Let's exam- I'm gonna look yeah. at the door. Yeah, the door, door. Okay, well, from where you are, in order to get to the, uh... The door. door you have to pass through. I'm a real pissed that that door is like a fake door just to make people pass through the fucking diorama. Well, the still here. That. Yeah. Still selling real fake doors. Real fake doors. Okay, so do you step out of the area you're in? Yes. And you walk directly there? And I'll avoid as many areas as I can, but if I can't avoid areas, I'll just go straight there in the shortest path I can. I have to like cross into this yeah. many areas. Okay. So what I'm you reach the door. Oh. Uh, I roll perception to see if it's trapped. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, while Kark is doing this, what do the rest of you do? I should know your arm is burning, anything? your arm is freezing, and you're starting to get it's harder for you to breathe. Is there down. anything else besides the door in these areas? I would like to leave. Would you like to roll perception? Yes. Okay. Uh, by the way, I haven't seen if there is a door. You don't think there's any traps. I also However, you do hear a sound coming from the other side of the door. Mm. 14. 14? Yeah. Uh, yes, there is actually where the light is coming through. Through, You actually see like a shaft basically up um, like near where the hill is. It's, it's kind of above the hill. You would have to either stand on top of your horse to reach it, but there's a shaft up there. It, lo- okay. it looks like some sort of like old air vent, but it's big enough for a person to, to get it. Your horse isn't going to be able to yeah, get it. <laughs> get in there, horse! <clears throat> to get on top of there, uh, so you're going to go from where you are to the... Uh... Yeah, I guess. If whatever you're doing doesn't work out, once Kark is done... He could use the eagle or silver. Fire. Yeah. That's true. What is um, Emron doing? I would also like to perceive a beast. Okay, roll perception. 17. Uh, you also see the same shaft that Jira seems to be looking at. Shafts again. Okay. Get out of the swamp. Uh, okay. Where are you going? You see Kark moving towards the door. I'll go towards the door as well. I mean, do I pass in through any zones doing that? Yes, you do. You have to walk through the ice. <coughs> what safe was that? I, 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 that was strength. Strength. I wouldn't know. It was strength. But no. Yeah. No, that was the hill. hill. You got knocked into oh, the ice. Yeah, so know. you're going to have to walk through the ice. Do you do so? Uh, 
So we don't know. Anyway. Nah. Do we? What's it like over there? I mean, I'm fine. I should know. You, you're you finding it hard to breathe. It's probably uh, a lot better than here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when you walk out, you can breathe, and you take uh, 12 cold damage. I just take the damage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. You didn't make them make a save. Yeah, yeah I didn't so make them make a save. so damn cold. So, what are you doing? You see there's Kark standing over by the door. That's pretty near you. You can also try to move towards someone else, or towards where you came from if you want to move towards the door you entered in. Um, and Greta, what are you doing? I would like to back out the area that I am in already. Towards All right, you back like out. The fringe of the room. Towards the fringe door where you enter. You are fine now. Your, your armor uh, cools off. I'll open the door on that stair. Well, I, I, I want, I want uh, Jeff's action first. Um, I'll go back to the door I came out of. Towards. Okay, you run back towards the door you came from. And, and I uh, myself. Huh? Okay, you run back towards the door you came from and you heal yourself. You open the door? Yeah. Beyond the door is a modest sized room with a lumpy pile of earthy material in the middle of the floor. Across from the door in the southeast corner, a glazed flask rests on a small shelf. In the southwest and northeast corners are two more shelves on which rest a small urn and a thin stone cylinder. In the center of the room is a pile of uh, like reddish purple like taffy a bunch of open uh, mouths with like teeth and eyes that just stare at you it's in it it's a creature it seems to be made out of like this red and uh, this purple like taffy-ish pudding um, of some kind its mouths are constantly opening and closing and its eyes are blinking at you as it goes uh, roll initiative you know, I was wondering why things say build up to something do you want me as well so that walk over to him yes you are currently getting over there 13 I uh, still need a dish from the rest. Are you calling out when you see the creature? Yeah, let's say there's some disgusting creature over here. I can have one roll me a shift. Okay. It looks like a oh, sure. weird blood with mouths. 21. Everyone. 19. Thornton. 3. Greta? 12. Let's give those guys a strike. Mm-hmm. So, so immediately roll the shit that's attacking us? Well, it's attacking Carl. Okay. So. Ashura goes first. It is like 50 feet away from you, and a direct path between you and the door would involve passing over the area that Greta was burning in. And the area that they were freezing in. Or, alternatively, you can attempt to jump over the hill, which might knock you over like it did him, run over the river, and then you would also be there. Don't know what the river does, because if it does anything, you don't know what it does, because you haven't seen it. It's the only part of the room that has been stepped We also don't know what the grassland does or the works. I'll try this second path with the, the check there. The, yeah, the saves. The okay, so first make me a strength save. Does this horse need to make them too? Yes, the horse will also need to make a strength save. Watch it. I think if the horse makes the save, you're fine. So, horse adds plus four with an additional plus four from your horn. So, plus eight. 23. The horse is fine. It leaps over the hill. Once it gets to the river... Get across the river. The horse draws. <laughs> oh, awesome. I need you and your horse to roll me an intelligence save. I knew it was gonna be intelligence. <laughs> oh. Whatever. Uh, 
does Warhorse have for intelligence? Probably not very high. Uh, minus. Well, yours has a minus two. Normal horses have a minus one. Yeah. So uh, all together, your horse gets a plus two, and you get a plus four, I think, unless you're inside. Yeah, I get a plus four. Uh, this is a horse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a twenty. Horse got a ten. Okay, so the horse just stops and like looks around confused. <laughs> you can communicate with it. The uh, horse like looks at you like and tries to buck you off. It looks like it doesn't even know who you are. Oh no. Well, I wasn't actually smacked. <laughs> but... oh. I don't know. <laughs> See what you're actually doing. Uh I was uh no, I'll, I'll smack it. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I already got it. Yeah, but... it does you can attempt to you can use your reaction to land on your feet, but it does buck you off. Okay. I guess I'm do you keep going? Because you still have 15 feet of movement, yeah. which can get you closer to the door. And out of the river. Yeah. Alright, the horse continues to look around confused, neighing um, confusedly. Actually, because it can telepathically communicate with you, you hear it saying in its head, Who are you? Where am I? What's going on? Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll communicate with it. Can I communicate with it now? Yeah, you can. Uh, we're in a fight. You... Who are you? Nah. Uh, it like falls over in confusion. It doesn't even seem to know it can communicate with you. It seems to be screaming in its own head. Um, that is your turn. You can hear me. Now, who are you, people? It is Emeron's turn. So, you have two ways you can get there. How long has it been since I tried to talk to the mirror? How long has it been? Yeah. Uh, fucking... Ten minutes? How long to speak with Anthony's cow? Or less? I don't know. You have the card for that. Well... Some power. I think... Uh, what? I think Sid might be right. I think it is. I don't remember because we kept relying on it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did yeah, turn out to be quite awesome. useful. Although it wouldn't help with writing. Ten minutes. Yeah. It, it, lasts for, it lets you read. Um, it lasts for ten minutes. Maybe touch with So it is gone. I do not know that the yeah. horse is freaking out. Do I know that history. there's a fight going on? Well, you heard Kark yell that he's being attacked. So it's oh, a mess weird. Other... Well, I was about to say, you oh. have two options. You can run uh, oh. over the river to get there, or you can run over the hill and the fire, and that'll be a bit more roundabout of a way. You won't reach it in one I should have gone through the damage. However, the horse does, upon having moved into the river, it seems really freaked out, so... But I also saw that hill knock Morgan over. Yes. I don't trust anything that can knock that guy over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Oh. Oh, well, okay. I guess technically you can also go to the grasslands, but it'll take you two turns to go that way. I forgot you to. You can go south. <laughs> now I'll try to move through the river. All right, roll me an intelligence save and drop. Well, I couldn't have made a range this time. No, because it's inside the door. What? 22. 22? Okay, you reach the door. You see the creature inside past Kark. <coughs> what do you do? Yeah, but Kark is in the way, so he provides cover for you range attack. Four minutes not the range attack. Well, it's fine, you can go on with it. I will talk with it. We'll talk with one of them. 13 hit? 13. Yes, it does. Yes. When it split, did it seem to get smaller? No. Mm. Six damage. Six damage? Okay. 
as you strike into it, it seems to roll onto its face in the attack. As you get, and then move uh, continuously towards you. Uh, one of its voices starts screaming at high pitch, like shriek. Um, um, it is now. Uh, do, do, do. One of their turns. It moves forward. And, uh... Okay. So the second one, the first thing it does is one of its mouths go... (laughs) And then spits, uh, like, some sort of orb directly at, um... Card. Once it gets towards Card, it explodes in a flash of light, and I need you and Emeron to roll me dexterity saving throws. When it spits at me, I'm gonna shout no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like no, like don't do. <laughs> Please no. What's oh wait, it? were you near the door too? Uh, I was moving towards. I don't know if I would have gotten there since it hasn't been my turn. I actually think you did. So yeah, I also need you okay. to roll me dexterity saving throw. Okay. You were blinded. Ah. Oh. What uh? No. What, what did Kark or what did Emeron and Squig get? Alright, you're fine. You're gonna have to close your eyes in time. 15. So, do. Uh, okay. It is, uh, additionally, it fights you with one of its mouse card, and it has advantage because you're blind. Okay. It's your own cross. 16. Karak. A dear elf, I see. Nothing. <laughs> White! Pain! <laughs> the sign! Exclusively. <laughs> so you take 15 damage as one of the mouths uh, grabs on, and then another mouth grabs on and begins ripping at your flesh, tearing off chunks of uh, your skin. Additionally, I need you to roll me a strength saving throw. Oh no. Fuck, really? Uh, use this thing. Seven. So You are then knocked prone as well. God damn it. So you are blind prone, and the thing is like basically on the top. You have like one of the best range options. So, is it grabbing me, or is it not? It just knocked you prone. Oh. So, so it wasn't within range. It would now. The for the one. Uh, Squig's turn. I asked Squig. for a ranged attack. Right, but it's because the angle. They're on the inside of the door. Yeah. You have to move over to be parallel to it first. Um, now. I'll shout out. It is Squig's see. turn. Squig. Yes. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. Roll me another wisdom saving throw. Goodness. Eighteen. Okay. Is I can do that. It really bothers you, but you manage to keep your cool. Dumb. Oh, it just screamed at me? No, I think it was, tr- it was doing something. Um, so, maybe it's Squig, it's your action. Fucking shout at it to shove it in Goblin. <laughs> you shouted it to shove it in Goblin. <coughs> um, well, he's getting bit. Amron's technically on the front lines. I got me. Uh... Yeah, you know, I think it might be a good idea. You know, idea to... now I can imagine Jim Carrey doing the voice acting for these things. I was thinking more of um, so what, what's caster for Bruce Almighty. Squeeze. What's Squeeze? Um, huh? He's gonna be casting a... It's still Jim Carrey. Uh, casting a... Uh, within 30 feet. Is anybody besides these two within 30 feet? No, I've wounded. Oh, sure, it's just barely. <laughs> okay. Wait, you... is it four out 30 feet? Or is that... No, it's 10 feet. At level 17, it becomes 30 feet. You three will gain five recurring and max HP. Okay. And is that your turn? Uh... Yeah, I should have... I'll move to one of the, the side of the door, but I should use that turn to summon the turret, actually. Okay. Well, you can retro. You cannot cast aid and do that instead if you want. 
Yeah. I'm that's... not gonna be like, here we go, fuck you. <laughs> that's... Alright, you guys didn't get aided. Uh, probably smarter. So, so you're summoning a turret? Yes. Okay. Summon Bastion. Okay, you summon Bastion. And have Bastion bonus pulse. action. Move forward and pulse. Okay, so that'll be for the three of you, because it's within range of the three. So, roll that temp health. Remember, it's gone up now. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. I wasn't sure if that also applied for Bastion or not. It applies all. Okay. And uh, if any of you are at home are wondering what's going on, nice. uh, the turrets don't scale up any, which seems kind of weak and kind of worse artificer. So what we're doing for now is we're going to have it scale up in dice the same way can just do. So his fire turret does 2d8, his force turret does, I think, also 2d8, and his uh, his temporary defense turret is 2d10. Or, so I will do 3d8 then, because if it goes up by one die. Okay, we're going to do 3d8. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, so how many temp hit points did you get? Nine. Nine, okay. You guys get nine temporary hit and points. And I'm not top bash, so I have to walk through these fucking fields anymore. All right, it is uh, now... That one went. Uh, Karak, owe me a wisdom saving throw. Why can't I roll well? Uh, ten. Uh, roll me another wisdom saving throw. Nine. Okay. The sound is <laughs> mm. drives you crazy. You cannot take reactions till the start of your next turn. Well, he's already blind. I think that's just disadvantage. <coughs> Can I take actions though? Okay. You. Get up. And as you do so, I guess, let's do. As you do so, you push past Emeron, yelling, get out of the way, and you run into the ice. Oh, what armor are you wearing? Leather armor? Yeah, leather. Okay. Roll me a constitution save. Heat metal is a constitution save, right? If you're not wearing the armor, but you're holding an object. It is, I believe so. I'm really not holding a metal object, though. Holding uh, you or holding an object. Oh, uh, con saving throw. Con saving throw? The object. Yep. Okay. Uh, anyway, I got a 20 on that. On the con save? They still take the damage even if they make the save, though, right? It might be... It uh, is... So this then, she's a bonus action, trigger damage again, da 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 Any creature attacking the spell is cast. It actually doesn't say half on save. Okay, so you take 12 cold damage as you run into the ice field, as your hand is starting to freeze around the uh, around the hilt of your rapier. And that is your turn. You hear its voices in your head, driving you to madness. I'm surprised it didn't drive into the river. <laughs> well, I rolled randomly to see which direction you ran. Uh, Trust me, I would love to run him directly into the well, not exactly. Specificity and <laughs> madness rarely coincide. So, the other one. No. 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 And spits at Emron. I need a deck save from Emron and uh, Squid. You stepped away, right? Uh, I stepped foot through the corner of the door, actually. Okay, then I need a deck save from uh, both of you. You're, you're closer to it. You should get the newspaper. No. No, just keep spitting. Eleven. You were blinded. Is it Dex? Dex ninety seven. Seven. You were blinded. Ah, oh, God. Eventually, it moves up and attacks you, Emeron, since you are now in the doorway, which is Karg. Moved. Um. Well, I don't do that. Well, <laughs> all you know that's is Karg. Well, you saw Karg shove, shove past you before you got blinded. You take, uh, he yeah, does hit you. <laughs> you take 16 damage, and I need you to roll me a strength saving throw. <laughs> this thing sucks. You think we suck? So, blue for saving throws. I can't 
can't fight those. Eighteen. Uh, you're fine. You don't get knocked over. And also, I forgot Kark as you ran away. Uh, the one that originally knocked you down makes an uh, attack opportunity. Um, but misses, despite having advantage. And it not me. I'm not. I'm being forced to move, though, anyway. Like, no, you, you know? are choosing to move. Even though I didn't get to choose to move? Yeah. Choosing so. out of fear. And, trust me, it, it works. Ah, um, it's like turn of living works. for things that are alive. Oh, right. So that was that one's turn. Turn it is here. now... Uh, Grana's turn. Cool. Uh, then it will be Thorin's turn. Is it possible to move around the outside of the room? It's like we get to no. Just shoot at them. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have let you finish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you, you both have cover, but yes. Does it move? We'll be shooting past that door. Yeah, the one is right up against the doorway where Amaron is, so you can kind of move over and shoot. Additionally, if you like, if you would like to get up close to it, you did see a path car walked that you could run that you think will be safe. There is a path in the room that is safe that Kark, through kind of luck, ran. <laughs> um, <coughs> then maybe in a bit. Okay, Jesus. well, I'm, I'm just gross. telling you stuff you know in character. You did see Kark run and not flip out. At least before. Now he's definitely running and flipping out. Yeah. Yeah. I should know, Karik as he is running from the thing, is going, ooh, and he's like, Like them? Yes, like them. Oh, that's very peculiar. Should've been like. Uh, and additionally, Thornton, if you roll me an arcana check. And or nine. 16. This, you know what this is, even before you see it. From the noise it makes and what's happened to Karik, it is a gibbering mouth, a creature created by horrible, Evil magic. Yeah, look at that, that Ugh, pretty face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Worse than it. That art is dope. Does it have a tongue? <laughs> no, it just mouths. Mouths and tongue. eyes. I've heard I don't know. No, no, no. Its skin is a tongue. It's a, Additionally, it's a you know that things that bite to death become it. Uh, oh, uh, no. It is a creature of madness and insanity. And assimilation of hair rape must be. Well, unless I had at least one fish on because there's two of them. It could be worse. Oh no, wait. Sorry, I read that wrong. It doesn't become one, but its mouths and eyes are actually from its victims. That's why some of the eyes are different colors and the mouths are like different shapes. And it's talking to multiple voices. My so. first arrow shot got 15. That hits. And the second one got a 21. That also hits. The ability to dodge out of attack seems um, extremely limited. <laughs> As it almost just kind of like is up to your attacks. Like, I won't accept this. <laughs> For uh, 6 damage on the first shot. Okay. Four damage on the second shot. Eight, everything. Okay. I, I think I will. Uh, I think I will go ahead and uh, action search. Fire two out. arrows. You focus. Pull your bow again. This one four seventeen to hit. That hits. You have to hit a nine. Oh. Yeah. And three damage. Okay. One more time. It's probably much harder if you're lying. So that's probably the the scale here. Hits it, it flops down onto its face, and 
like moves directly up against Emron, like it's trying to approach you, but it can't because Emron's in the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, it has you that. feel it's like slimy. I don't like you. the way this feels. <laughs> okay, Let's there go, does seem to him that it is like there are parts of it that are oozing um, like it's a clear pus-like blood. No, <laughs> which you do does smear on your clothing. <laughs> um, don't turn into an alligator. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't playing anymore. Okay. Okay, it is now uh, Thornton's turn. You know these are gibbering mouthers. You can see them. Additionally, in case you forgot I said earlier, you're pretty sure this level is stable enough that spells that would normally trigger a cave in probably won't. Just saying. Let's stay on fire. Oh, if you hit the very end, or if you're asking if there's a way you can hit them with Fireball and not Emeron, if you target the Fireball to the very back of the room they were in, oh, it will just, there's enough space that it will hit the two of them and not Emeron. Alright, I'll do it. Okay, you got Fireball? Yeah. Roll 8d6. Spook yourself. God damn. Fireball's a good spell. Uh, what's the radius? He plays a 3.5 wizard. He has plenty of oh. sixes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I mean, you should also have. No, wait, right. You didn't play with this. I think it had all this money. You sixes! Trevor? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, you were. Oh, yeah. yeah you were. Oh, yeah, was not work. Street side work. That's why I have all those D6s. Because he left me two of them. We gave him a bunch of D6s for Shadow. Because every time a grenade goes off, Fucking the math meet the woman with the math. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> Is it not just like grenades? Well, it's with a bunch of stuff, but yes. Grenades, powerball. Why just say grenades for short? I don't want to stop. And powerball. And technically the earth elements of slam attack. And five other things. Well, you know what, David? When I start paying you for drum fatigue, I will accept your drum fatigue. Otherwise, sip it. No. Corn. <laughs> Do anybody take her? Uh, what's the save? Uh, I thought I said wisdom. No, no, it should be a deck save, but I'm asking what the DC is. Yeah, I have DC. Should be yeah, fifteen. Okay. okay. Thornton creates a ball of flame and flings it, I don't know how you create it, but you create a ball of flame and you fling it to the far end of the room. It explodes outwards. The first one roils and then just falls to the ground and evaporates. The other one is burned. Uh, as it is burned, it uh, flops down three times, like flipping all over itself and uh, before biting itself. Is that the one that's touching you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just flopping on you. Imagine a swimming pool full of uh, Sure, it's not your turn. To. It's not your turn, sure. Okay. Get up to the door. And oh. see cart right <coughs> past you. Sorry, actually, only a wisdom save. <laughs> you were close enough to be affected. Oh, sure, or, um... Thorin and you know the people who start within a certain distance of the Gibbering Mouth there have to uh, steal their mind or they are inflicted by a Oh, level. 11. Oh boy. You're fine. <laughs> I literally just had to beat 10. You are well, 10 or high. <laughs> 10 so you succeeded on the first one, but I failed the second one. Because uh, there's two of them. Yes. Wow. I, I moved to attack the, the, the thing. <laughs> All right, you move up to attack the uh, can, did, can my force roll uh, another uh, int check to break me out? Or I do not how know. does the walk of the river work? <sighs> you might need to kick it to get it. Nope. It doesn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, all it's going to take is just moving it out of there. Moving on the willing horse. Yeah. 
Hey, you can always hey. dismiss every Sunday out of the area. Yeah. But yeah. you can't do that in combo. Well, I mean, I, you could. But I that could, yeah, job. that also use a level two spell. Or, no, just dismissing no. resummoning. It's if it dies in resummoning. Oh, uh, but you I, can temporarily I have to wait till dismiss it to the astral plane. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, you could, but it'd take your action to do. Yeah, but whatever. But I'm, I'm already here. Do I attack with Shatter Strike. Is that a 20? Yeah. Swear to God. Um, you have to have a 9. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're on your turn. Uh, 11 damage. Okay. Yeah, second attack. Slash this last one as you slash it, it kind of oozes it out and dies. She's yeah, we're really on this today. Well, no one else is going for them. Yeah. Well, Jeff got some pretty quick. Yeah. I was about to move <laughs> because that thing was touching me and I want my revenge. But it's disgusting. Jeff, you've gotten all the candy. Give it to Kaylin. No, it's okay. He was like, he's like, right, but he, he could give it to Caitlyn. He's taking all the candy. The fastest spider catches the fly. Alright. I, I, I didn't want it to turn into a who grabs it first. Ah. This is now no longer D&D, but Hungry Hunter Hippos. <laughs> Which makes Jeff the hungriest hippo of the ball. I guess so. Uh, yeah. So, All right, you're fine. You now, can move. Yes. Am I on blind? Uh, yeah. Yes. Are we still blind? Okay. I. As you note, though, as you start your turn in the ice, you take another twelve cold damage, and have to roll a con save or drop your uh, rapier. I dismiss and reset. Uh, I'll drop my rapier. Okay, you drop your rapier. I will use a cloth to pick it back up and put it in the scabbard if I can. Uh, if you do that, you'll have to take another turn of damage before you get out of here. Oh, wait. Good. No, because it'll be on the clock. Yeah, you're fine. Um, no skin contact. Yeah, it, yeah, it's fine. He doesn't wear metal armor, otherwise. He'd be real as screwed. Oh, um, I think I do breastplate. Is that metal? Were you in the, in the ice? I don't think you were. Uh, I ran through it, but I didn't stay more than one turn in it. Oh, but you did run through it? Didn't I give you damage for that? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you gave me the cool. damage, but um, yeah, you didn't ask for the save, which I was wondering about. You don't make the save, because you're wearing armor. Just, you just take the damage. Uh, is there anything Remember, in... that's how he metal works. Is there anything in the room that the disgusting things came out of? <coughs> yes, there is. I'd like to go over sure you guys. I also... Enough. Four more of those things! No! Oh. Uh, and another room. There's a is flask a with a dried potion inside. A stone cylinder that appears to be covered in runes of like tentacles. Mm. Um, and the urn has a dried heart inside. Hmm. Do I have enough alchemist supplies after all the shit that's happened for me to, <coughs> to, <coughs> to do heart much? Heart. To do uh, much to what? Like, rehydrate the heart. Yeah, you function. have a ton of wine. You don't need alchemist supplies, it's just alcohol. Oh. To what? Okay. Uh, it's a potion of hill giant strength. Oh. Jeez. Um. You said the stone cylinder has runes on it, or yes. the shape of tentacles? <coughs> so. You can identify it if you'd like. Uh, or if we could say, plug it all to the wind and open it. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, the sword. Uh, I'd rather they cast. I'd rather someone cast identify on it. And uh, do you want to cast identify? In a, a heart. And the heart in an urn. On the side of an urn depicts Olmen warriors uh, lifting the heart up to the sun and then consuming it. And then the next like image on the urn is the Olmen like having grown visibly like more powerful. There's like an aura of power around them. Huh. I mean, I'm curious, but that's kind of gross. Mm. You want to identify the uh, like, uh, potion room? Gonna, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll identify the heart. Right. <laughs> that is not my aroused face. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I figured that was the funniest way of deciding that. 
Instead of I was trying to do the, the, the Jack Nicholson the hearted meme. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Was that Tim Burton? Was it? Yeah, that's Tim Burton. Yeah, anger management? management? That's anger management. Um, whatever. I thought that was... Well, whatever. I have no idea. He's a crazy man in both. So, <laughs> yeah. Less so in Departed. Arguably in everything. Yeah. So, he uh, might just be a crazy man. Was, You're going to cast oh, Ritual did, Cast like, Identify? It is a rod people. of the Pact Keeper. Rod? Rod of the Pact Keeper. Jesus Christ. Huh? Is when attuned to a warlock, it gives them wow. uh, plus one to uh, spell attack and spell save specifically for warlock spells. And while attuned to it, you can uh, once per day use it to get back one of your warlock spell slots. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Damn. Uh, that's somebody, awesome. Somebody got that in the stream. I'm watching. Oh. While well, he was casting identify on that, I was casting identify on the heart. Doesn't do anything. I have a question. If I fly up the shaft using the eagle whistle, will I be able to turn around and come back down, or can I just yeah. ascend slower? You oh. will be able to. I'll do that unless it appears that it's going outside. So you're going to leave the room and, and go over to the shaft? Yeah, no, I okay. just take. Well, just take. then what are you guys doing for well, the Well, you could just blow the whistle so you fly above we the sound. We can eat the <laughs> heart, so I don't really want to eat it, though. Draws, draws. Does, heart, magic. Oh, does the heart not identify as anything? No. Well, not through the identify spell, no. Oh, okay. Uh, if you want to roll, would it be medicine? Does it appear to be a human? I would take a religion heart? check. I can try. Cards for strength. A uh, real thing? Uh, is that cool? That's not a check, right? He got a 12. 14. 14. 14. Okay. Well, from the urn, it looks like the omen believed that eating, like, a heart, like this one, it looks specially prepared, like it looks dried, gives, like, heart strength. Turkey. Turkey. So, if you believe it, consuming this heart will empower you. Try to save that. Her heart. If, if, oh, if it's a consumer... You don't know. It doesn't look like a human heart. Is it possible to taste it to see if it's consumable, like with potions and stuff? It won't tell you what it is, but if you're asking if you want to take like a nibble of it to see if you could possibly eat it, mm. then yeah. Go ahead, lizard man. If it is magical, I might waste it. I'm not so sure we should. How about we just eat it? It feels wrong. It's not human. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I mean, it feels wrong. I could try it. Why don't you if it does do that, I might want to wait till we need it. Do would you think would it? taking a nimble use it be its use? Yeah. I guess we'll just keep it then. <laughs> Well, were you taking a nibble of it to see if it was edible? Because you did ask. Uh, that won't, like, uh, waste it? You don't know. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. No, I won't. Okay. So you put it back in the urn and take the urn? Yeah. Mm. Maybe someone else can figure out what it actually does. If I went up the shaft, do I just see the sky outside? Hold oh. on. I was asking what they were doing first. So, you're taking the urn with you. Okay, mm -hmm. Kark flies ahead into the shaft. When you fly into the shaft, mm -hmm. it leads to a further part in the temple. Uh, as you fly up in there... The, the snake thing said that the entrance was on the same floor we were, so if we go through here... Out of the corner the of your eye, you see them before they take you by surprise. Two huge like seven feet long from fangs to web shooting abdomen giant spiders are in the thing with you uh, roll initiative I'm sorry I was wrong with uh 23 is the whistle loud yes. so I have to constantly blow it oh okay oh, I thought it was like I don't want to stop blowing it well, I thought it was like a like whistle where it's silent Oh, 23. 
It lets me fly how far? 70 feet? 70 feet? That's the point. 70 feet. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go first. Uh, I'll fly back down, taking the dash action to get down, unless I don't need to. Uh, you fly out into the thing. You, you fly out into the chamber with everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'll summon the list and I'll say, Giant Spider's over there. So are you going to land over where they are? Because if uh, you stop blowing the whistle above the hill, you're going to get knocked off. Well, I'll fly over to them. Okay. You fly over to them, you land, and you tell them. He tells you that there are giant spiders in the chute. They follow him? I did stop and look, but they didn't seem happy. Prepare actions. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Shoot anything that comes out the shaft. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. sure. I have shoot my legs back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are you preparing? Uh, how big is the space that they would come through? Five feet. It's big enough to fit a person or giant spider. <laughs> so they can't be yeah, they can't be side by side, they have to be in a line. Yeah, be in line. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> okay. Master B, if you're preparing actions, what are you preparing? One of the cantrips, the firebolt. Okay. How far away is the shaft? Twenty five feet. Okay, then I will prepare twenty. And Thor? Whatever comes through this hole is so you said you prepared a fireball? No, 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 no. I have a wand of cantrips that's fire. Oh, all right. Prepare a fireball because I'm going to kill you. Okay, you wait a minute. Nothing comes. Do you keep waiting? Mm. I feel like they one more minute. minute. Okay. Another minute? Nothing comes. Hmm. It must be just an. Oh, Maybe they didn't see Whatever it. comes in the hole. Yeah, yeah. They definitely saw it. Or they know that this is an ambush. Uh, I just turned out the ghost. Can I roll nature? nature? Chase down prey. Can yeah. I roll nature to see if they're to recall right. if they're intelligent? That's better. Sure. Oh. Uh, 14. You know they're not. Okay. But you also know that spiders aren't going to go outside their lair to hunt. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they'll attack you if you come back in, but. They're not, they're not going to come out to the open. I'll say, I don't think they'll come out here. They uh, don't seem to be there. Really. So, we're good yeah, down here, here, unless yeah. we want to go up through there. Right. The thing is, that's the only way forward. Well, oh, there's, there's one that. more path yes. we haven't No, made. there's no more path. There's the hall- hallway that was to the right of this room. That was this room. What? The hallway to the right. So, this is literally the only place we haven't gone? Yes. Well, if they're going to no, stay in there, well, we can't side. be surprised. The second right? hidden door that was in the mirror. No, the second oh, hidden door that was, was the, the mirrors. Yeah, and I thought there was a hidden door in the mirror room. That yeah, was and the... that led to the octopus room. And then you came out and went through the original right door to get to this door. Mm. If they're going to stay up there, it sounds like a perfect opportunity to fire a ball. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, yeah. Just shoot it in. Bolts. And what's the radius on it? 150 feet. Just... Shoot well, it the range, not the radius. The radius oh, is twenty. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, he could shoot it into the hole, and it'll probably hit them. And so you want to shoot a fireball? Up did, the did Car- was Kark able to see how big the hole, the room was? Yeah. Is it? You're gonna have to get up on the hill to yeah. fire in there. I got back here in the turn, so it's not more than 140 feet away. No, you. If you got up on the hill, you could fireball in there. But you're going to have to get up on the hill. Mm. And in fact, those of you without flight are going to have to get up on the hill and even to get in there. Because it's the only way it's reachable. Because so you're all going to bust out. Or... Yeah. He saved uh, the source. And we're sure there's an e- there's nothing else in that room, I don't think. Hopefully we're not killing things. I didn't see anything besides Well, there, there was a continuing it. shaft the way. Like, out, they came <coughs> in like a side shaft. Uh, so like just, a, there was like a little hole tough. that the spiders were in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you saw that if you kept going, there was like a, a room on the other side. Mm. Should be fine then. Right? Probably. 
cavalry. I mean, unless you want to carry Thorden so he doesn't have to... <laughs> Use another charge of the whistle. But you're going to have to use another charge of the whistle to carry Thorden. Well, it's up to you. resets at dawn. Do you want me to fly you up there, or do you want to just shoot the fireball through here? I have to get up on the hill. Well, it means a strength. It's a strength. Back yeah. the, back in the ice. Well, you could do also, Carr probably can't lift Thorden, but Greta or sure I could. I, mean, I could lift Thorden and make a strength check. Okay. Will it just be you blowing the whistle and holding on to Thorden? Because you're strong enough to carry him. You're strong enough to carry him. Oh, you or Greta. Uh, how, how many strength does the whistle have? Three a day. Yeah. Three a day. I've used one. So, uh, that'd be another one. We need to. Oh, it does require attunement, right? It does not, so you can pass it off. You can use it if you want to take forward and okay. So we could actually take every, lift everybody up and place them in the tunnel because it's as long as you're blowing. Yeah, but we're yeah, not doing that. But in order to be in the tunnel without flying, you have to have your back to one side and your arms and knees on the other side, and you have to like, walk. Oh, does that mean I can't? I just can't reach it. Being small. No, you can. But it's harder. Alright, uh, no, yeah, if that's the, the only reason he was able to go through it easily is because he could walk. Now, someone with the eagle whistle could carry everyone through, but the spiders will attack you unless you yeah. have the spiders yeah. first. So, but you can do that. Is that the plan? I can, I can do the whistle while you uh, shoot the fireball. Drop a rope down to us if you can. Is it too far for a rope? Well, we could prop it. Ha- uh, as long as you have your breath, you can just keep going back. Well, as long so. as it keeps blowing, yeah. I know that. Yeah. It'll be faster than a rope. I don't like think. All right, but so yeah. is that the plan? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. You carry him up. You hand Ashura the eagle whistle. Ashura starts blowing the eagle whistle. Thornton is lifting to the air. Roll 8d6. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wonder how tough giant spiders are. Thirty damage. Both of the spiders are fireballed. Mm-hmm. You see them like flop over and die in the smell of burnt flesh and mm-hmm. it's from the thing. Start taking everybody up. Okay. Do you take first? Gordon, he's already I'm already holding him. And I'll just hop onto your back. How many can I take at a time? One at a time. Uh, Unless one of them is... uh, Well, I mean, this is fine. You have enough time to take everyone. Mm -hmm. You take everyone through to... The very top of the passage is covered in a pewter basin. So it's going to require an athletics track to move. However, you're easily... Yeah, you can roll at it. Okay, you push it open. You come out into a chamber. This the room is small and plainly decorated. On the north and south sides of the fountain are made of bronze inlaid marble. The southern one is cracked and only dry, limey deposits remain in it. The northern one contains about two feet of dark water, fed by a trickle that falls from the top of the fountain. In the water, the white, gauzy form of a crayfish lies on a bed in lime encrustations, or a bed of lime encrustations. To the west, stairs lead up out of the room, and to either side of the stairs along the west wall are narrow, dust-covered ledges. Huh. All right, so you go back down, carrying the rest of the people up into the room. What do you do? There are fountains, there's a crayfish in one of the fountains, and there are stairs leading out of the room. Stairs in front of then go up the stairs after. Is the crayfish the big thing in the shell? No, it's like a tiny crayfish in the fountain. Oh, oh, it's an actual crayfish. Are they oh, alive? They're alive? We can don't know. Oh. Are you gonna, like, poke it? Twelve. Poke an animal is kind of an animal. Uh, twelve? Yeah. You don't see anything in the room. Seven. As the rest of you work around the room, other than the fountain with the crayfish, there's nothing in the room. I'm gonna go handle those crayfish. So you uh, go and poke it. Yeah. So you discover two things. One is that the crayfish is actually the shed shell of the crayfish. Um, beneath it is a platinum key and chain. Hmm. Additionally, the water surges forth 
Of course it's gonna happen. <laughs> they have them for fucking rats. For rats. Sure. Wait. Stop that monster right now. No, you want them to fight this. A vampire? Well, I guess. That'd be cool. Hmm. Uh. No, it's not a vampire. A large watery creature surges forth. It has a weird, like, insectoid animal head and um, two, like, whisk, whip, whippy water, uh, like, antennae. They kind of look like cockroach antennae. Uh, um, it surges in, like, a long, bendy uh, body. Um, would anyone like to roll me either Arcana or Nature? I don't know. Fucking nice. Ten? Okay, you card know what this is. It's a water weird. It's a type of elemental, kind of like the salamander to a fire elemental. A water weird is to a water elemental. Mm. Oh, They're like a sub elemental. Hmm. Huh. It's like half I'll of say it's a water elemental. They have no concept of good or evil, but this one looks bad. <laughs> well, yeah, we're in its spot. I hope this crayfish. I should note. It surges out of the water, but doesn't land on the floor. It's still connected to the fountain. Um, you also know that if the water is connected to dies, the water weird will die immediately. Like if the water it's connected to is like is it, gonna is it, it, is it, it not It's not aggressing, is it? Oh uh, no, it totally is. Oh, um, um, and I want initiative. Okay, I will shout. If the water can, it, if it disconnects from the water it's attached to, it dies. Uh, sure. What'd you get? Twenty. Car. 16. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Throw it in. Mm-hmm. Squid. 15? Yeah. 18. Does he know if they can be moved with move abilities? Mm-hmm. Like, make something move? They can't be knocked prone, but there's nothing that says they can't be moved. Okay. The hell is burned by action. <laughs> they're also like, resistant to fire and we- attacks from non-magical weapons okay. it also is capable of speaking Aquan if any of you have primordial uh, uh, no. Not a, it doesn't count as an animal no it's an element it's the same Barbie girl at it. <laughs> I would like to Barbie, let's go Barbie. I would like to converse with it but you, know. you poked my dead friend Okay, oh, sure, you go first. Alright, uh, well, I can't knock the bro. So, I'll still charge it with the horse for gallop and, and hoof attack, right? Okay, yeah, roll so, hoof attack and then your attacks. Uh, <coughs> actually, I'm not going to attack. I am going to move to try to. Can I make an athletic just check to wrench it out of the water? No, you can't. Or you can try. But it's made of water. So it wouldn't add anything? It's a water element. So it would roll athletics if you, if you want to try to drop it out of there. But that, that would take one action? Yeah. Okay. I'll, tr- I'll try. And it fails. You grab it, it's just it's water. I know. <laughs> it's a cool idea, but it doesn't work. I thought uh, something stick that huge ball on the pulse plus, plus, plus you. I caught the other side. Oh, unfortunately, you got it. Because yeah. you use one of your attacks. Never mind, it reduces I'm not going to knock it away. As much as it would be effective because it's made of pure water. Uh, roll your damage? Well, I, I need to roll the. Uh, roll the attack. Because roll the attacks. Uh, force me not to hit. Uh, crit yeah. on one. 29, er, 19 to hit. I was gonna say, Sorry. damn! <laughs> you were so sorry! The horse is stacked! Uh, 15 damage. Okay, you slash into it. Dealing damage. It is now. Karst. I'm sorry, Grenna's turn. It's now Grenna's turn. Neat. I'll move up. And I'm going to hack at it. Have ice? Uh, I have ice, but it only 
reduces your own speed. That's a freeze. Uh, first attack is 22 to hit. That hits. The second attack is a critical more, more to hit. That also hits. You can roll your third attack now if you want. What <laughs> 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 mean? all three hits, so roll two normal attacks and a critical attack, I guess. That's true. Is it one or two? Yes, so one, one or two gets re-rolled. Uh, yeah. uh, first attack is 14 damage. Second attacks, 30 damage. Okay. And third attack was 17 damage. Okay. Uh, I assume salt water taffy. I was looking for a blue Jolly Rancher. Blue I'm out of town. Yeah, I'm out of town. Is that the Jolly Rancher? Well, I'm almost out of town. I'll get more Jolly Ranchers. Alright. Okay, there's some Jolly Ranchers in here. But can I find a blue one? Oh, great. Yeah. yeah green, green's almost blue. Green's closer. You need you need blue. Okay, what about the red You seat? slash it three times, hitting once, twice, and slamming down on it as it just turns back into an inanimate pool of water. Huh. Yeah. You made it short work. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That'll be hard for them. They will. I'm <laughs> not very good at that. Alright. Guys, set up the strings. What do you what do you uh, what did you say was underneath? A chain and a platinum key. A chain and a platinum key. The yeah, platinum yeah. chain is worth twenty gold. And the key's a key. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Key. Oh yeah. So you can find a lot. And there's Oh, but other than that, nothing else in the room. Other okay. than the stairs. Well, I guess you're oh, upstairs. He's on a march. Check the stairs. Are you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was up here. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, seven. That never just went to a spoon. Twelve. Twelve? There's no traps. I don't see nothing. Heading into the next chamber. In the middle of this chamber is what appears to be a withered, preserved form of two centaur mounted on slabs of marble. Marble. Tinted green and decked out in lacquered leather, feathers, and copper wire jewelry, they face the western entrance to this chamber. The centaurs hold bronze hafted pikes tipped in broad blue gray flame shaped spearheads. Sons of the Dance. Yeah. Well, if you didn't believe you lived in the most redneck place you've ever heard of, you just got the session stopped for things. In fact, I might still keep that joke in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the centaurs hold bronze hafted pikes tipped in broad blue gray flame shaped spearheads. Said they were statues? 
Preserved form of centaurs. Mm -hmm. I didn't say statues. Scattered around the room are jewelry and knickknacks made of beaten copper, cut and polished obsidian shells, quartz, and coral. Much of this treasure is at the feet of the centaur, symbolically being trotted underfoot. Two tall urns shaped like whisker baskets stand along the north wall, each one filled with rivered stones. As you enter the room, the centaur, holding their spears, and with their purple, like, plumed feather headdresses, reared up as if ready to attack, rear down, seeming coming alive. Their jaws open massively, and they speak something in Olman language that you do not understand. I attack them anyway. Uh, sure. I want initiative. But I will want it next week. Okay. Because that's all the time we have for the day, folks. I've been your illustrious Dungeon Master Mario Lewis. I hope you all enjoyed that uh, as much as I did. You can find more of me at Lights, Camera, Initiative, where I speak for everyone, save Caitlin and David. Um, you can also find me on Thursday on two separate shows now. Uh, at two or at 1.30 um, PST, I will be on the Greyhawk channel for the Hidden Shrine of Tom Watching Game. Uh, additionally, later on in the day at... Um, I don't remember the exact time we lost. I think it's 5 PST. I will be on the second uh, Tainted Lands stream. And uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Check that out. Um, additionally, you know, come to Twitter and uh, yeah, follow me. Right up. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe Smack button. Smack that bell. Leave comments in the videos below and we'll read them. We haven't really been getting much comments, but you know, if you leave comments, we will, uh, we will answer them during our review segments. So yeah, you know. Um, and also, if you wanna you wanna hit us up with questions on Twitter, we can, we'll also take them there as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, David, where can people find you? Is there anything you want to tell? Well, in reverse order, uh, not particularly at the moment. And I'm R. David Harper on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, uh, Ed, is there anything you want to tell the people? Uh, same old, same old. Just you know. Keep being excellent to yourselves and everybody else. Hippie. You're just a hippie. All right, well, uh, maybe hippie, maybe starter rocker. Arguably not a huge amount of difference between the two, but whatever. Um, Depends the era of the movie's taking place in. <laughs> well, I mean, it's mostly pop music. Is <laughs> The main difference is how much they replace showers with, like, spice jars. <laughs> That's the main difference. And honestly, Alex Winters has never looked particularly clean, so I'm saying, you know, it's debatable. Uh, hey, I'm just saying. Uh, jokes aside, love you, Alex Winters. We're all super looking forward to the new movie, or at the very least, me, Sid, and Ed are. Uh, me and Sid are probably going to get super stoned and watch it, and we'll probably not get particularly stoned or stoned at all. But maybe, we'll see. Maybe the magic of Bill and Ted will get Ed to get super high just this one time. We don't know. <laughs> We see. don't know. Keanu Reeves is I pretty fucking magical. Keanu Reeves uh, be Ted again. <laughs> uh, you mean Theodore Logan. So, uh, Ted Jeff. Theodore Logan. Yeah, Ted Theodore Logan. Uh, Jeff, do you have anything you want to tell the people? Um, as it seems like gay. Um, <laughs> um, this person's skin is right after I leave. I'm fireball on these and all those spell slots. I'm destroying every freaking piece I can. I feel like this is Super Mario World after every fortress he fucking dynamites it. <laughs> dynamites it, kicks it away, demolishes it with his feet. Yeah, Mario gets pretty pissed. Uh, <laughs> Caitlin, where can people find you? And is there anything you want to tell the people? You can find me at Gobbitsies on Twitter, and I have nothing to say to you people. Oh, you people? Wow, okay. Nice way to be super... Uh, that's cool. Rob, is there anything you want to say to the people? Not in particular. About the session, maybe? Other than centaurs is a very weird thing to find in here. Centaur mummy. Centaur mummy. Out of everything else oh, that damn. we found well, out here. Hey, let's sit down. Everything mummy has been five. weird, actually, that we found. It's a mummy. You're going to have to deal. That's it. Uh, Sid, is there anything you want to tell the people? Um, 
maybe if if you feel like changing some things around for the this particular adventure, maybe change around uh, de- definitely the mirror uh, trap. Uh, so see that for the review. Yeah, that's no. we'll, we'll go. We'll go more into it. But, yeah, but you didn't like the mirror room that much. Well, it could be better. Like more like, sure. I, I, I feel stuff like... could have happened, but saves were made. Regardless, uh, yeah. that has been us. Sid, say goodbye. Bye. Rob, say goodbye. Goodbye. Caitlin, say goodbye. Goodbye. Jeff, say goodbye. Bye. Ed, say goodbye. See you. David, say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.